Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking news. This, this is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang, gang capital of the nation. This, this. This is Los Angeles. This is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang, gang capital of the nation. This, this is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Top of the evening. I almost said mate, but that's Australia. So top of the evening, my friend. And thank you for joining us tonight. I am your host, Tony A. The Wizard. And somebody needs to turn off their phone, okay? Thank you for everyone who is on the live chat and decided not to be on the live chat. I'm trying to figure out who in the hell I sound like. But anyways, I'm here. Thank you guys for joining us with News of Norbeat. Before I introduce my special guest tonight, I want to tell you guys, I want to thank everybody who decided to be on the live chat, everybody who's not on the live chat. I want to thank everybody who liked, comment, subscribe, don't subscribe, dislike, it doesn't matter. I want to thank everybody who's talking about us because you guys are keeping us relevant. So much love and respect to you guys. Um, other than that, we're going to have a great time. Hope you guys are enjoying your St. Patrick's Day. I really don't know who Patrick is. But we're going to celebrate him. As you see, I got my green on. So hopefully you guys join us and uh, get your drink on. So without further ado, please allow me to introduce my very special guest, the one and only, all the way from East Los, Marvelous Inc. and News of Norby's. How you guys doing? I'm good. I just want to clarify, East LA, Boyle Heights. What did I say? You said East, East LA. East Los, him. East Los. But I mean... Just to clarify. Clarify what? Homie? Boyle Heights. Yeah, exactly. Clarify Boyle what? Heights, East, East LA. LA homie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just played, homie. That's right. Boyle Heights in the house. That's right. Oh, good. <laughs> so first and foremost, what do you guys think about my look? Uh, it's great. You like it? You got all green. You're really in the spirit. Yes. I, I mean, was going to let one of my green boogers hang out, and but I, I think that would be a little too much. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It might be a little too much. Marvis, what do you think about my look? Yeah, I like your shirt, homie. Looks good. You're matching. See, this is a brim from Ireland. Okay. What a lot of people don't know. Uh huh. So they were kind of hip to it for a long time. Yeah, I was like, man, I don't have any gold on me. I was like, man, I should take out the gold pole. The gold pole. There you go, because somebody may want your gold. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, uh, all good, Marvelous. How, how you been? How you doing? Um, how's your weekend been going? Uh, going good, bro. Spent time with my, my daughter. I got to spend time with my daughter uh, this weekend. I took her to the car show. Oh, okay. I mean, not the car show, the, uh, the sneaker con. Oh, what was yeah, that? Pretty at? cool. Um, it was right there in um. Oh my God, at the LA Convention Center, bro. Yeah, yesterday. Okay. So yeah, I got to look at a. I mean, Jordan shoes, every kind of shoe. Like they have a lot of. There's so many shoes, homie. That that Nike right. puts out, you know, Jordans and and it's ridiculous, homie. The the prices, bro. There's. That's what I was gonna say. Sixty thousand dollars, homie, for a what? pair of shoes. Like, were they Jordans? And they, people don't. Even, they buy them and they buy them. They don't even wear them, homie. They just put them like shoe collectors, you know. Like to and and some to resell them. Yeah, and to resell them. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy, man. Crazy. Huh? I mean, it's a good way to hide your money too. Now, uh, yeah. You buy those shoes, and if, you know, you're you, you know, you're gonna be able to sell it later on and recover that money back. They have I mean, some shoes, homie. They're um. They're they're called the Grinches and they have they have like hair on them, bro, like green hair. Like the no Grinch. shit, yeah, it's just crazy. What? I mean, those yeah. are probably cool collectors, but who would really sport those motherfuckers? There's people that are sporting them, bro. They're they're I seen a gang of people wearing those rubber boots, those red boots. Walking like oh, the Miss Pac Man boots, yeah, like the rubber, yeah, the rubber, bro. Like they're walking around and um. Uh, uh, do you hear like wee wee wee? That, yeah, that's how it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you guys remember the, those old shoes that used to have the little basketball on it and you could pump it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you remember what brand they was? I think they were Reebok. They were, were Reebok. they Reebok? I, I believe they were Reebok, yeah. yeah. Man, those ones. Those, I remember I only had one pair in my life, but. For real? They were cool. That's cool. Are you lying to us? No, no, no. You used to put the little switch and take out the end. Now, let me ask you this. Did you buy any shoes? No, I didn't buy none. Now, is it too expensive to go over there and buy shoes? You know what? If you go, to be honest with you, unless you're looking for a specific pair, um, I mean, you're going to end up spending a lot of money, bro. So, I mean, literally, it sounds dumb, but take a couple of thousand with you. Damn. Fuck that. For real. Fuck all that. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, other than that, Norby's, uh, um, what did you think about the intro? 
I love it. I mean, when we were doing it, I really couldn't picture it because you were directing it the whole time. And it's, I, I think I told you earlier, you really don't see the finished product to like when it's all done. Exactly. And it, it looks, it, it was, I thought it was hilarious. I mean, that thing was like 35 seconds and it took us what, about two hours maybe? Yeah. Yeah. At the most. Yeah. You know what, Alex, can we, can we put it on the, on the live chat? Um, did you, do you guys like the intro? Okay. So definitely a shout out to the Hip Hop Jedi too. Yes, the Hip Hop Jedi. Long. We actually edited it today. We shot it what about two weeks ago? Yeah, right. Yeah, we shot yeah, it about yeah. two weeks ago, everybody, and we put it together. Marvelous, comes in marvelous is next. So I'm gonna have him on a donkey. I'm only playing. <laughs> <laughs> marvelous, are you gonna are you gonna wear your hat or are you just gonna let it sit there? Oh, it's up man. to you. <laughs> you I'm not wearing green like that, but. Wow. See, look, everybody. I, I, felt, I felt weird because he's wearing all green. I'm like, I'm, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing black. Green. I'm wearing, black I'm wearing dark colors. Yeah, I know, but I told you ahead of time. So don't act like you didn't know. I just realized I need more light on me, too. <laughs> you, you need more light? Either that or you're too dark. <laughs> no, I need more light. <laughs> no, what, 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 zoom into him over there, Alex. I just realized, no, I just realized that light is more pointed towards the marvelous and like. I'm like, you, you look like good right there. I think it's because I'm, I'm closer to the camera. I mean, to the lighting, homie. You look good there right you go. there. There you go. There you go. Like right Unless there. you want to trade spots. No, bro. no, 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 no. Good. No, he just oh, wants right. to be seen because <laughs> it's his show. Are you seeing a pair of eyeballs or what? Yeah. <laughs> I can see myself right here. I'm like, wait a minute. I can barely see all myself right, right. back there. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me, let's go ahead and just get started. No, but is there anything that you want to bring up? Well, like, it's, or not necessarily pertaining to news, but just anything in general. Well, right now, I do want to bring up. Um, the, the live chat, I see you guys. You guys are going wild in there. And yeah. I, I just, I, I I usually shout them out at the end of the show, but yes. today I see them very energetic. I see them very pumped up. I feel, I, I, I could feel their energy. Yep. They, they make me happy. They, they're actually pumping me up for today because you guys are hilarious. You guys are the wildest trollers, roasters on YouTube. And... <laughs> <laughs> these guys never seem to amaze me. This is why I always love the live chat because they're read. I mean, the content is always good, but the live chat, when you're in the live chat, it brings a whole, it asks, it just adds to the show. Yes. You know, you could have a, but you, and, and you know what I love about them is that they don't fucking, they're not trying to suck anybody's dick. They're not trying to fucking, they're not trying to kiss ass and, and just, Kissing, like I've seen some live chats where the where the live chat is just like on the on people's nuts. I know, I know. These, this live chat here just roast each other, have fun with each other, talk to each other, communicate. Actually, create a community of people that uh, can relate to each other, can have fun, can talk shit to each other, and not get into some sort of fight. Right. It's it's it's, it's amazing. This is why I always love this live chat that we have here because. Man, these people, they're, and they're all like different characters, everybody. Yes. And I love it. I agree. I agree. You know what? Um, so later on, we're going to break out the Irish whiskey. Uh -huh. I bought Irish whiskey. Marvelous cities and take a shot. Uh -huh. And then I bought some Irish beer, which the only one I know is uh, Guinness. Yeah. So later on, we'll have some Guinness. Uh, um, hopefully, hopefully, you guys are joining us and drinking green beer or whatever. Okay, but we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And um, one of the first things that I want to bring up, Norbert, is something that I belong to is the music industry. So, uh, Alex, can you bring up the, our first picture? Okay. And uh, I think, let me know when it's up. Okay. And it's stuck. Let me read this to you guys. Now, this, is, this talks to all the rappers out there, Chicano rappers, black rappers, singers, you know, bands, groups, whatever. It says, new bill. Okay aims to make streaming platforms pay artists up to one penny per oh, stream. Oh, shit. Mm. We're finally getting a raise. I can't wait. No, no, mm. no, no longer .0013. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> now, now we can really say it. I want me gold. Hey, yeah. A penny, a penny a stream? A penny a stream. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Next time I see a rapper, I'm going to give him a dollar. And I said, I played your song a hundred times. Let me see. What? Do, well, how much would you get a hundred times? Let's see. A uh, uh, A dollar. A dollar, wow, wow. That's There's a hundred it? pennies in a dollar, Fuck. Norbert. I'm the slow on math. Just okay. FYI. Okay, so let's see. A Ten thousand. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's do the math. See if Norbert knows math even with a calculator. A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks. There you go. Fuck. Yeah, and most people never see that. But they can't wait for that gold at the end of the month. Shit, man. 
<laughs> well, at least they could show off the numbers, right? They could yeah, show, they the, could show the, off the, the numbers. Streams. There's no they, money they, in streams, honestly. Yeah. There's no money. Yeah. You know, in Levi's, you know when you buy Levi's uh, Marvelous, you know, 501s? Yeah. You know that little pocket that they have right here? Yeah. The coin. Th that's where you put your Spotify money in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. So that's what the little pockets. That's what the little pockets. Well, pockets I mean, for. that's why Universal pulled out from uh, TikTok. That's why I I think uh, another music label is pulling out from uh, from I want to say Spotify or uh, SoundCloud. So several labels are not pulling yeah. out from these popular streaming platforms for that purpose that they want to negotiate a new deal. This is the strike that everybody's been waiting for. The music industry. I think for months yeah. ago, I even said, I'm surprised that musicians, artists, they don't go on strike. But right. I think these are the first steps of them little by little trying to say, okay, I think we're about to just go on strike and not do music anymore. Marvelous. You, you're not a rapper or a producer, okay? But you, you have written for people, I believe you told me, yes, okay? Sir. How do you feel about this, man? A penny? That's bullshit, homie. That's bullshit. It's a laughing in a in a, a, a artist a real artist face, bro. For you to, it, it's disrespectful. It's yeah. disrespectful, bro. Yeah, yeah. It it truly is because who made up the law that I get to keep ninety nine percent, yeah, and you get one penny. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like ninety nine point nine, and you keep one penny. Yeah. You know, so that's why I always laughed, huh. not to make fun of them, but when the people would say, "I'm on all streaming platforms." Go really what they're saying. I need to make a hundred dollars this month. But you know what, bro? And and, and honestly, too, uh, just to say this, you have to value yourself mm -hmm. even more. So you know what I mean. I know. I know. Like we come from low income um, families or whatever, and we don't make a lot of money. The majority of us, but you need to hold yourself to a higher standard. Like um, a good a good example is. We'll, we'll take all the major name brands like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and, and Balenciaga and all this. Who gave these people the right to to be above everybody else and put their prices so outrageously out there? Yeah, you know I know. What I mean? They're they're just doing it. They they're valuing themselves. If you value yourself and what you have to offer the community or the raza or whatever you're doing, whatever uh, genre music, um, if you're a carpenter or whatever, if you value yourself, hold yourself to that standard. And be like, you know what? I know you're used to paying this much, but I know what I could provide. Absolutely. And you brought up a great point. You went to the shoe place. You, you could take that down, Alex, so, you could, so that you could switch angles. Um, my thing is this. Say you bought some shoes, that some Jordans that were $6,000. Mm -hmm. Say you buy some jeans. What do jeans go for? Like if I want to buy some nice expensive jeans. Um, I, well, regular Levi's are like um, about 60 something. Okay, no, no. I'm talking about like. Like some rich jeans. Oh, those rich jeans? Are like a, I mean, like a buck twenty, maybe. No, bro. A no, no. Grand. A grand. We're a talking at least about a grand. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, my time. daughter bought my, my, uh, her brother, my son, a four hundred dollar just regular shirt. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, let me just say this: that kind of stuff only impresses broke people. Yeah. And it's, because rich people aren't going to look at that and say, "Damn, he's wearing Bal Balenciaga." Yep. Damn, he's wearing six thousand dollar Jordans. It only impresses broke people. And yeah. the sad thing is that today we live in a society that is uh, going broke, trying not to look broke. Yeah, exactly. I would go to Swami You're going to buy an expensive-ass wallet and then not have no feria to put in there. You look, this was, given, <laughs> this was sponsored to me by Fashion Town, and this hat was $4.99, $12. I saved there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, but that's my thing. It, it's a fucking slap in the face. Look, let me tell you, if I was an artist and, and I knew this, take my shit off. Take my, I'd rather go back to CDs and just selling them on the fucking street, bro. But, but yeah, that's a slap in the face. Okay, Norbert, what do you got for us? You got anything good for us? Uh, well, this, this is why I don't get Tony. They don't get, they don't get shit money from these platforms. Right. Right. You know, me doing like photography and videography, I could I send out these clips through my Google Drive. Yeah. I give people, I give clients their, their link to go get it. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why these artists can't keep their music in a Google Drive and then just get emails from people that pay 20 bucks for their album and just sell it. I mean, you don't even need hard copies anymore. I you know. could just tell, hey, let me get your email. Give me, uh, Zell me, you know, Zell me, what is the other one? Cash app or Cash ben, app, Venmo. Venmo me 20 bucks right now. Give me your email and I'll send you the link for my album and you'll, you, you'll help me grow. And if they could get 100 people to fucking uh, buy it like that, that's two grand right there that they'll have. 
Like yeah. in one in one show that they they have twenty people or at least ten people buying their right. album, and then they give them their links. I mean, you don't even need a server anymore. Yeah. You'd yeah. be like, you know, the tracks are right there. You could download them, keep yeah. them on your phone, listen to them but however the you thing, want. The thing about it, homie, I don't mean to interrupt you. No, go ahead. But we need our own distributors. You know, a lot of people that get into the main, uh, the music industry and yeah. shit, you know, you got these big record labels and mm. the, their major distributors that just, yeah. bam, they throw your shit out there yeah. and you get paid that feria. Yeah. You know, and they, people really depend on that. Yeah. You know, if we start working together and have our own distributors in Chicago, New York, and, uh, and all these places that we could contact, hey, homie, can you push this many, uh, you know, yeah, uh, whatever, what is it called? Uh, in music. Like, we, we, the, a lot of people, some today are USBs. Yeah. Okay. A, a lot units, of units, right? Yeah, units. Yeah. 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 How many can you push for me or yeah. whatever, you know, and work out? Well, a, yeah, if you want a physical copy, then yeah, you could use USB. But that's a good question, though, because I do wonder, the, literally the only distributor I know is, and that's probably because I'm not in the music industry. Would be Goto's because he says he's a music. He, yeah. He's a distributor. Yeah, aside from that, I don't, I don't know any other person that's saying yeah. I'm a distributor. Right. Come work right. with me. No, and you're right. And he took the initiative and went ahead and did it. But let's be honest. Uh, I'm going to tell you another thing that fucked up this game is that there's a lot of people that sh that are rapping that should not be rapping. Yeah. Okay. Uh, out of let's just say we had a hundred rappers here in LA. Okay, which I know we got in the thousands, but let's just say we had a hundred, at least about. 85 of them should not be rapping. Okay? I miss the days when guys that couldn't rap didn't. You know what I, I miss? I realize almost a lot of the rappers from L.A. don't get any kind of fucking love. Well, it's hard in L.A. because here's just a bunch of celosos. There's a bunch of jealous but I noticed, We call it hate, but it's jealousy, bro. I know more love goes to rappers from the Bay from uh, San Diego and or even Texas. And that's not hating to them, but I'm just saying, like, I don't really see a whole lot of love for L.A. rappers. I mean, there's some uh, there's some rappers out here in L.A., homie. And there uh, are. I mean, in the Bay that don't get as much recognition that they should and should have yeah. been way above where they're at right now. That too. Sugar yeah. Free, DJ oh, Quick. Yeah. I mean, they're out there and they're internationally known, yeah. but they should have way more than yeah. they have right now, homie. Right. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, even... Uh, Shit, I want to see even the radio stations. They don't really they push whatever is popular, and they I I'm I'm noticing they they push anyone that's controversial now. Oh, well, yeah, that's, 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 same thing, yeah. that's the same thing with podcasting, bro. They, they you know, that's all they want to do. Mm -hmm. You know, when when uh, we started September 11, thousand nineteen, this was the only platform when it came to Raza that was pushing Raza. No other platform could say that. You know, with these podcasters today, not one other person can say they interviewed this guy, they interviewed this guy. 90% of all these Chicano rappers that got interviews had their first interview here. And let, let me clarify that. Live podcast interview started here, okay? Yeah. But, you know, and a lot of people say it's my fault. Tony, yeah, you started all this. Started what? <laughs> what they did to Chicano rap in the 2000s, now they're doing to podcasting. And, and I'm like, well, it's true. Something that started out beautiful is now turning to shit. Yeah, you know what's funny though? Not one of these cocksuckers give you any credit for it. Literally building their their guest list. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All they want to do is pretty much. Well, I, I'm just gonna leave it at this. Uh, just go to Rolling Radio, pick out a guest, hit them up on Instagram, bring them over here. And that's it. Yeah. So, anyways, let's go to one of your stories, bro. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Let me up. Oh, ah, shit. Okay, I'm gonna read that one after you. You should have been ready, Norbert. No, that, that my first story was one that's going to come after your story. All right. So, uh, all right. So I got a, uh, this might be good news, bad news. Live chat, let me know what you think. Okay. Uh, Putin has won his re-election campaign. He is, Putin? again, the president of Russia. Who? Yeah. Once again, he, he managed. Is he still using the N-word? <laughs> Putin? I don't know. Okay. Let me tell you, I'm going to give what? you my best Donald Trump impersonation. They were interviewing Donald Trump and he right. said this. Putin uses the N-word. He uses the N-word oh. too much, <laughs> way too much. When I was in office, he never used the N-word. And that goes, what is the N-word? Nuclear. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Nuclear. Well, I mean, this is crazy, though, because Putin has been in power since 1999 oh, in yeah. Russia. Damn. Since 1999. That's a lot of fucking years he to be president. He seems like an old school vato, though. Like, he's old well, he's the, you know? he, was the, he was known as the super spy. Oh, really? Because he was part of the KB, KGB. Oh, wow. Hmm. He All was right. one of their, one of their uh, supposedly one of their best. I don't know, yeah. you guys ever seen those clips of him uh, practicing judo? No. 
Like he actually practiced judo. I didn't even know that. Yeah, wow. he, he, they show a clip of him like training, not training, but showing a kid how to actually like flip a guy. Damn, that guy. Is, Hey, not just that. Uh, I'll throw in my two cents on that. Yeah. I yeah. saw something on YouTube that said he survived like eight uh, or ten assassination attempts. I really? believe that. Wow. Yeah, as it Damn. Throughout, throughout his whole uh, being as a president. Wow. And hey, uh, uh, a, you know what? Before spy. we continue, can you go ahead and give us the uh, what was the the vote? Okay. It was seven minutes ago. One hundred thirty. I mean, one hundred twenty-three votes. They said I asked. Uh, do you like the new intro? 76% said, hell yeah. Hey. And 24% said, hell no, I came to hate. You got them cucks. Uh, Damn you cucks. Duh, Always duh, duh. 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 Ask them in. if they like our hats. Okay. Ah, Go ahead. Okay, yeah. But yeah, so he's in power. I mean, that's the crazy part is that, you know, here the media makes him look like he's the devil. He, right. He's the enemy. Is he? You know what? That's a very good question. I mean... Recently, uh, the president of Mexico, AMLO, got in trouble here we with, go. The, with the media here because uh, he let a news media outlet from Russia actually interview him. Mm. And so he was getting a lot of backlash because a Russian journalist interviewed him. And it was mostly coming from the U.S. All right. But uh, you, I don't even know if I mentioned this situation where he got in trouble with a New York Times reporter. Did I talk about this last time? No, but we're talking about Putin, not Mexico. Well, well, okay? no, just, You're going down a rabbit no, hole. No. Well, I just want to uh, point this out because this lady, oh, you know what? I think I did because this journalist point was trying to push the narrative that cart, that the Mexican president only won because he had cartel money behind him. Okay, but we're talking about Putin. But, Let's stay on track. <laughs> stay on track. Okay. All right, the point is he's back in power and... Uh, you know, the pre Mexican president didn't take money like that. Aside from that, it's going to be interesting now knowing that who wins the next presidential election between Trump and Biden. Um, I'm pretty sure it's fixed and uh, Trump is probably going to win. But <sighs> if we go back to that same situation as before, I think the situation where Trump wins, probably that whole thing with Ukraine will probably go away because they will get like no support from the U.S. anymore. Exactly. And then... As far as the Palestinian and Israeli thing, I think he, he'll just pull out for the fact that he did. As, when I go back to look at the, the time Trump was in, was in power as president, we really didn't have any wars going on at that time. Right. The only go. ones that we knew of. All, <laughs> but, all good. Yeah, all good. So good. Putin, stop using the N-word. Okay. <laughs> so other than that, okay, let's see. Which one is next for me? Let me see. Hold on, give me a second, you guys. Right here. Okay, let's talk about Elvis. 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 Go ahead and read that to us, Alex. Elvis Crespo or Elvis no, Presley? No, wait. <laughs> go, go, go. Rita Mo Moreno hooked up with Elvis Presley to get back at Marlon Brando. Yeah, according to TMZ, Rita Moreno. Okay, obviously she belonged or she was dating this day, Marlon Brando, the godfather. Yeah. But here's what a lot of people don't know, and this is all public knowledge. You guys can look it up. Google it, okay? Marlon Brando was a big-time homosexual. I was just about to say that he was gay. Okay, so that's yeah. probably why she boinged Elvis. I don't think he was gay. I think he was bi, if anything. Isn't that gay? <laughs> Isn't that gay? <laughs> and then that clip, that one clip uh, that went around. You know which one I'm about, Alex? Uh, well, how's it go? I, I date women. And wait, how the fuck did okay, I Okay, he just messed up my whole uh, uh, okay. That was a good one. What I see in it, right? Oh, no. The one with Okay, I anyways, see Rita Moreno hooked up with Elvis to get back at Marlon Brando. Now, now, let me ask you this, Mar Marvelous, okay, because you're from the neighborhood. Say, hypothetically speaking, you were dating a girl named Concha, and um, she liked your homeboy. You pretty much, you guys got into a fight. So she said, I'm going to get back at you. I'm going to go fuck him. Is, is, is that really going to fix things? Like, uh, I'm going to do it to get back at him, and then we're going to try to work things out after I confess that I did Boeing Elvis. Never. It, it, it doesn't even make sense, you know? To me, that's just a, a rich uh, homie hopper. Yeah. That, that's what that is. She's a rich <laughs> Wait, homie hopper. Is Rita Moreno is a homie hopper? Yeah. <laughs> if, if she boned Elvis because he was good, good friends with Marlon Brando. But like, I'm gonna tell you this, and you guys can look this up because it's the um, um, what's that? What's that one guy that they were saying that wanted to bone Tupac? 
Uh, uh, the musician. Uh, uh, which one? Musician? <laughs> oh, you're talking it about... was a producer. Uh, what's his name? Diddy? Diddy? No, no. Uh, the older guy. Oh, the older guy. Uh, what's his, the, he was oh. dating his daughter. Something. Yes. Um, him. What's his name? I forgot his damn name. Oh, right. my God. What and he has a great name? documentary Gordon, on Netflix. Gordon Barry? No. Uh, no, no. Barry no, Gordon? No. No. But, no. Fucking, um, look him up. Oh, my God. Somebody look him up. Uh, anyways, we'll, co- we'll come back to them. Um, he did an interview, okay, where he said that, and, and supposedly he, the next day he call, called his magazine and told him to take it down because he was drunk. Huh. He said that Marlon Brando, and this is what they were saying, Marlon Brando Quincy boned Jones. Quincy Jones, Jones yeah. boned Richard Pryor. Uh-huh. He was boning Jeez. Richard Pryor. Uh-huh. He was boning, um, oh, God, I just had it. Marvin Gaye, uh-huh. and, and there was another guy that he was born in all three of them, and supposedly in some island he had a a black dude with a twelve inch cock, Jesus. like he 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 was he was just throwing all those guys like pretty much saying Marlon Brando was fucking all of them, okay, and he was throwing them all under the bus, and then he called Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson was a thief, he stole that beat from Donna Summer, so he was just spilling the beans that the Beatles drummer couldn't play worth shit. And then the next day, he called up the magazine and told him, can you please take it down? He was a little intoxicated, and he actually apologized. Damn. But he did say that Marlon Brando was boning Richard, uh, Richard Pryor, Marvin Gaye, and he had some black guy in some island that had a 12-inch you know, schlong. Bro, damn. So, hey, that, that, that reminded me of, of a few podcasters. To do what? <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> take that down. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Bro, you know, but yeah, bro. So this girl, Boeing Delvis, so eh, skonka. Yeah, bro. Hey, shout out Rita Morena for Rita Morena. Okay. I mean, but look, okay, look. Here's my thing. Let's try to make sense of it. Say that she has children and they're watching an interview of hers. Yeah. And she says, I boned Elvis to get back at Marlene Brando. What kind of son would look at that woman and say, Mom, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who does that? Yeah, it's sick. So, anyways, no well, break. I mean, any last it, thoughts, but, marvelous? I mean, Back in the day, they, they were just, they were just like that. There was that one Mexican actress that, um, I think it was Maria Felix. I don't know if you're familiar with. Yeah, that of name. course. I think it was her. She was the one that like uh, dated or married some European guy. Okay. That admittedly they said, all do. Look at some Hayek. That admittedly said that they actually ate a baby. Oh fuck that! You, you, you know what I heard of that? You're right. Yeah. You're right. So you guys looked that up. Yeah. She, as a matter of fact, I forgot what show she actually somewhat admitted that. Like to eating a she baby, was, bro. She was the one that said that Mexico was dirty, that the it, it's just very uncivilized, which is why she moved to France. No, that's she just wanted to be white. She that's just wanted to be. That's what she just wanted to be white. Period, bro. Anyways, uh, marvelous. Any any thoughts on that? Uh, okay. <laughs> no, bro. Go ahead. The floor is yours. All right. All right. All right. So it was Quincy Jones, guys. Yeah. Uh, I don't like dead air, Norbert, so you need to be prepared. Come on. Okay. <laughs> news with Norbies. Giving okay. you the ghetto news from a professional perspective. All right. So, I don't know why I didn't finish this one, but um, apparently there are... Shit. Dead I got, air. Uh, I only got, like, the See? first part of that. But uh, boo. 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 Good. Boo. Well, this was a very informative... Apparently, uh, sex ex- experts reveal three most important steps to achieve your best orgasm. What? Say that again. Sex experts reveal three most important steps to achieve your best orgasm. Okay, if you don't Get got it. them by now, then you guys are sad. But I give mean, it to us. Hey, not too many people, you know, focus on that. They just hit it and quit it. They're not like you, Tony. One, one hour quickies. Yeah, right. How do you know, Norris? That's what he keeps saying. I still don't believe him. He rented the video. Okay, well, <laughs> Be kind, please rewind. God. Let's see. Come on, Norbert. I was so unprepared for this one. Uh, one would be uh, mindfulness. Mind. You know, okay. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with being, you know, mentally there, mentally, you know, excited. Like as far as like talking to each other, dirty talking. So sex talk. Sex talk. So, would you say that's sexting today? And no, I mean there is. There's been sexting since what? Since the freaking the first, uh, what was it like? The Motorola one that actually had a keypad. I don't know. The BlackBerry. Do you sex, Norbert? Nah, I don't sex. Okay, so well, go ahead. What's well, the, I think that would include like meditating. Uh, what he said. Yes. Like, and, like meditating and and like yoga and stuff like that. That has to do with the. Uh, yeah. 
that would be one thing. Uh, the other part would be uh, stimulation. Know exactly where to touch. Most people, they just grab a boob, maybe grab a cheek, and <laughs> that's about it. Damn. Do you know? Do you know how to do those first two steps? Which one? The yeah. ones you just read. Harvey's <laughs> grabs his own ass. Yeah. Hey. Don't normally sl- slow dances by himself. It's, it's uh, strong. It's a got, a got a pretty strong ass. I mean, right. I'm not ashamed to Give say Give us that. a third one. Oh, man, man. Come on, Come on Leprecano. Le- uh, and then it, it would be uh, mindfulness. Well, I think I said mindfulness and communication. But I think they're kind of both the same thing. But mindfulness is right with the way where Alex said that is more about, you know, actually being more spiritual, being spiritual. more yeah, spiritual. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy You really got to no, you really oh, put okay. yourself in. <laughs> you really got to put yourself in there. You know, really feel that energy. You know, because you could do the sex talk. Like, damn, I want to fuck the shit out of you. Whatever happens to just getting butt naked, it? making out, and doing it? Well, it's it's gotten boring, Tony. Damn, he boring. said it's kind of boring, marvelous. It's gotten boring. That's kind of so. You want to spice it up? You want to make sure that she squirts by the end of it? No, Norbert wants a dry hump. He wants to lay with you, spoon you with the clothes on. Well, you know that's what most guys do. They just go in there, ha ha ha, and then ha ha ha. He couldn't even say that. And then that's oh. it. And then that was it. They they like they just go to sleep. Most sessions will require you go like maybe four hours, you know, a lot of foreplay, a lot of fluids, a lot of touching. If a hyena's into you, homie, you don't need to do none of that. Thank you. None hey. of that. Thank if you. you got, if you got, you know, that okay, thing. Okay, go, go, enlighten us. No, but for real, homie, if you got that thing, you don't need to fucking uh, do no dirty talking. She's enjoying you, homie. Ah. That's it. So how long how long does that usually go for? Shit, I mean it depends, homie. I mean I'm not gonna sit here and give you the my my timeline, <laughs> homie. But You're not plus the I, mean, I got I got ten kids, homie. So hey, facts. There it is. Facts. That's it. You know, there it is. Facts. All good. Okay. <laughs> You're not gonna sit there and be thinking about what to say to her. You know what I mean? Like so, so far, like so you mm-hmm. never like and and uh, let's take a you never try to do the whole role play stuff. Go playing what? If I'm playing anybody, I'm going to play myself. Because that's what she's into. <laughs> you know? No, I no. mean, unless a hyena's looking for, you know, like, um, fuck, if she needs to stimulate herself that much, then she should you shouldn't even be being with her because she mm. obviously don't want to be with you. Yeah. That's a good, she wants that's her a you good to point. pretend to be somebody else, you know? Mm. You're going to have to. Uh, so what, what, what kind of woman would you say would want all these things? What kind a of hyena woman? that's not into you? There it but is. Then, there. But, then, but then, why would she be in that situation? It's the then? same. It's the same instance. Well, I mean, you, I've never been in a situation like that. Mm. But I mean, but like, it's like the same instance, homie. If you ask a girl, "Hey, you want to go eat?" and she asks you, "Well, where are we gonna go?" That's when you just hang up the phone on her. It shouldn't even matter where you're gonna go eat. Thank you. All, all it matters is that she's that you're gonna be with her. Dang, that's 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 good. Let's get a clap for that one. So, so Norbert's gonna role play. Pretend I'm Martin Brando, baby. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, fuck. I'd be okay. like, pretend I'm Elvis. Yeah, El, El, Crespo. El, 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 Elvis. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go to more trendy news. Let's go to Pornhub. Pornhub. Go ahead. Hey, gracias, Peter Rivera. Okay. Bucks. Hey, hell yeah. Okay. okay, you guys. We're going to talk about Pornhub because obviously Pornhub is big amongst a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> now, Pornhub. Blocks access for Texas users admit age verification legal battle. So now you have to like submit ID, prove your age if you want to watch Pornhub. Now let me ask you this, marvelous Norbert, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Wait. So now say you have a son that's 15 years old and he's on the computer and he's like, you know, what the fuck? I gotta prove that I'm 18. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I wouldn't even know kid, kids have computers because as far as I know, they just use iPads and phones. Phones, comp- you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know damn well what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, can you repeat your question again? <laughs> I want me gold. Okay. That's all I want. I'll, I'll answer. Go ahead, go ahead. There you go. Okay. Um, I think that they're just going to give uh, kids a, a reason to just find a way around it. That's it. Like, uh, I mean, it will stop. Certain people, but there's other websites and 
other things that they can do and whatever. So if somebody wants something online, they're going to get it. Okay, eventually. Marvelous. Yes, if Say, again, I'm just using this as a hypothetical scenario. Your son tells you, Dad, I, I really want to watch this. Can you verify, you know, this so I can watch it? How would you feel if you were approached with that, that question? If you were to ask me, I mean, man, I, I would deny it. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want him to, to have to go to that that level to go have to fucking watch a porno to get off, you know? Yeah. If yeah. he had specific questions and I would talk to him about it, like, what are you really trying to find out unless you just want to see somebody, like, boned down? I mean, yeah. and I think uh, um, when we're younger, I mean, we're all, you know, curious about shit, you know what I mean? Or to look at a Playboy or something like that. So I think it would be more of a, a curiosity thing. So I think you would have to explain to him, you know, that you're not really going to get nothing out of watching another fucking dude. Why would you? I mean, of course, you're watching people do whatever. But that then you got to question yourself because do you really want to watch another man's thing? Like, or would you want to watch a girl? You know what I mean? Right. Okay. So you're saying you're for it then? For what? For this. Uh, uh, Pornhub blocks access to, in other words, minors. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. I, I don't think that minors should be watching, uh, tuning into none of that crap. Exactly. Know? Norbert, what do you think? Are you for it or against it? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter to me. Why? Because you're just gases? You, no. You don't exist? <laughs> you can see whatever? It doesn't matter. Like you said earlier, like Alex said, when a kid's going to want to find it, he's going to find it. Okay. I mean, that didn't stop kids in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the but 80s. But we didn't have it, the technology that we have today. Yeah, we had magazines. We had VHS. We had Sears we had, catalog lingerie exactly, magazines. Exactly. Yeah, they're going to find it. Even if it's carved in the fucking tree, they're going to find it. Okay, so you're so you're against they're, that. They're gonna, nah, I'm, it doesn't even matter. It's like it's like uh, immigration policy. It's never gonna do shit. <laughs> People are gonna find a way to get in regardless. Uh. So it's just pointless politicians wasting tax money, wasting people's money, it, it, wasting people's time. It's just their way of. Making a commotion so people can look okay, at them. Okay, can you see? This, this is them clown Can you chasing. see parents happy in Texas that this is happening? <laughs> they don't care about that. What about you think? Do you, you think care? parents are happy? Hey, but that, that, hold on, hold on. I'm asking them a question. That they're putting a block on it? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I so. think so too. Yeah, I think so. Go ahead, Alex. Okay, but I would say that maybe the parents that really do care about that, they would already have that type of block installed ah. on their uh, phone uh, for their kids okay right? but this is extra yes. now kids that's good that's good that, that's what that's what i'm saying you like know what if they want it they'll get it i like where alex is going with that he's got a very good point this is just another way for the government to tell you you know what i'm gonna raise your kids and i'm gonna raise your kids because you guys don't know what the fuck you're doing so i'm gonna make laws to control what your kids get to watch. But I like that Because law. I don't trust you guys. I like that Because you guys don't know what you're doing. They're just government again I do. trying to control but the us. the government ain't doing nothing anyway. But by, may, by they making those well, they're rules. Gonna block, the government's going to block that, but they're going to allow a fucking transgender whatever. Thank you. To go. But that's the other part. This is the baby steps. They're going to they're gonna ban it for underage, and then they're going to do something to adults. This how, they do little to eventually okay, make it into a bigger thing. Okay, but you don't think, thing. Norbert, that porn... Can really damage a, a boy or a, a young boy or a young girl? I, it, it desensitizes uh, them, and this is why. This is probably one of the reasons yeah. why a lot of countries are experiencing uh, low population growth. But yeah, you're saying it's stupid. It doesn't matter. I don't care. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. Then you're saying, oh, it desen desensitizes you. Well, that, and I'm like, you're being sympathetic, but then well, you say you don't give a fuck. Well, I don't give huh. a fuck. But at the same time, I know this is just their way of trying to say. I want to control how you raise your kids. I don't see it that way. Well, I mean, what? You, so that means you're okay when they say, we're going to teach your kids about transsexuals? I mean, but no, they, I'm we're against gonna, that too. We're going to make laws. Everything anyways, we're going to make laws that they got to teach these things in school. And now and now they're going to say, now they're making laws where we're not going to let them see this kind of porn. But look, we might even eventually show them transgender porn. Look, no, you're a base, so you can watch all your Ron Jeremy movies you want. <laughs> uh, but we get it. Dirty. My point is that they're just trying to make uh, rules to tell you, you don't know how to control your kids. We're going to control your kids. Okay, We're going to raise them. I'm for it. While you're looking for your next one, uh, Alice, can you read <laughs> us your, the, the, the question? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you know what? Right here, somebody dropped forty forty nine ninety nine. Yeah, uh, Peter. Peter Rivera. Uh, he said, "Wake up, Mar Ponte Las Pilas." <laughs> yes. I'm listening to the conversation. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Gracias. Okay. Um, the question is, do you like the hats? Two hundred thirty four votes. 
Sixty percent said hell yeah. Uh, forty percent said hell no. Thank you, sixty and forty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so go ahead, Norbert. That's enough time. Ah, okay. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's over here looking like Buddha with, with the, uh, with the uh, leprechaun all right. So according according to Google, Google according googly. to Googly, data has revealed that a sudden rise in search traffic in Texas for VPS have gone on a rise. What? VPS? What's that? VPN, virtual private networks. Okay, what is oh. that? Break it down for us. Yeah. Now, a virtual private network is what somebody would use to pretty much make us... They, they could use a site, a website, and enter and, and choose a location or anywhere around the world. Like, let's say you choose Brazil. Right. So when you go in this thing and you choose Brazil, it opens up another browser. Okay. And you could go to any website on that browser. Okay. But it'll only show that you're in Brazil. You're not in Texas. Oh. So the point of this is that te- Texas has a way of seeing where you're at. If you're if you're in the domain, if your computer, your web service like Spectrum Charter, it shows that you're there in Texas, they will do that whole block thing with the ID. But if you use a VPN and you go and put that you're in, you're in France, the 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 Texas will not be able to like know that well, I you're think there. You could, I think you could do that now with a VPN. Well, yeah, anybody. Could, they, well, that's why it's been on the rise in Texas after ah. that because now. It went up 400%. And who's making money off these VPNs? Well, are uh, these uh, computer nerds? Fuck. We're in the wrong business, Marv. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, VPNs have been around for a long time. Mostly. You know what VPNs are for, bro? To hide you from fucking trolling the motherfucker. Yeah. That's what that much, is. Pretty much. That yeah, is a way to troll. That's, uh, other people have used it for their Netflix where uh, it will show they were, they're in Japan. So they will see shows from Japan that we can't see here. And uh, like some certain regions, you can't see certain movies unless you live in that region. Yeah. So people would use VPN to trick Netflix into yeah. thinking they're there and they could see the content from that region. Okay. So that is something not new, but because of that law that you spoke of, now people are, are searching up how to get one, even though they're free. But a lot of people are actually sell it and you don't really have to pay for it, but you just got to look up for free VPNs. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't. But it just goes to show you, again, people are going to find a way. Well, you know what? But that's, that's trending right now, you know, because people want to hide who they really are. You know, it's funny because let me just say this. Talking about, because VPN pretty much just hides your IP address. You could be anywhere in the world. Not, not hide it. Um, disguise it. Okay, disguise it. Yes. Okay. So now, in Instagram, people make uh, uh, fake profiles. They, like, they won't put a picture. They'll call themselves whatever. Yeah. They, they could do the same thing on Instagram, they could, uh, on, on Facebook. They could do the same thing on Twitter. Yeah. But the majority of them are, are on YouTube. Oh, yeah. The majority of them. All you got to do is, like, you know, one subscriber, one video, or no video, no subscribers. And they're on your page talking shit about you. Yeah. They're, they're, that's in a sense, Norbert. Yeah. Like a VPN, they're disguising themselves. Yeah. So a VPN is pretty much, you could just tell somebody off. And if somebody looks it up, oh, they're fucking in Czechoslovakia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They could do that. Yeah. I mean, it's the same way with um, YouTubers. If you ever wanted to see if a YouTuber has fake uh, fake uh, subscribers Listen up. or fake people in their live chat... Tell the YouTuber, show us your analytics. Ooh. And if they, if, if they show you their real analytics, it'll show a lot, a, like a big percentage of their viewers are either from Russia, oh, Eastern yeah. Europe, India. or India. India. Oh, yeah. So you ever feel that one of your YouTubers has fake subscribers, has fake uh, chat viewers? Tell them, hey, show us your Analytics and you could check that shit on um, on Instagram too. No, no, that one you can. Yeah, you, you could. Not you could. Oh, oh, Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Different, no, I'm, different, talking, oh, I'm talking yeah. about YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, oh, but it's a right. different analytic. What you're saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. But YouTube, YouTube gives all these YouTubers yeah, their analytics that. of where who's viewing them from, where, what country, and at what times. So Absolutely. If you ever feel suspicious of any of these YouTubers, not nah, mean. Tell them, hey, why? show us your analytics. Let us know who exactly is watching you. And if yes. you see a big number coming from India, Eastern Europe, or Russia, more than likely, they got some fake subscribers. Fake ass shit. Huh? Yes. And fake live chat people. Some yes. fake ass motherfuckers out here, huh? Sure exactly. is. All right, let's go to uh, uh, Bad Bunny. 
Let's, let's go to Bad Bunny. I want to talk about something about Bad Bunny. Okay, Bad Bunny right here says, according to TMZ, Bad Bunny sues fan for posting concert footage on YouTube. Okay, Marvelous, you go to car shows. Oh God, you've man. been to events. When people are performing, right. what is the crowd usually doing? With their phone up in the air filming. Okay. Right. How is this dude... Uh, I don't know all the details, but they just give it to you in a nutshell. How was this guy going to try to sue? And this guy's got millions, bro. A sue a fan because they shot their favorite artist up there and put it up on YouTube. People need to start supporting idiots like that. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's dumb. They should be happy that people are even going to go watch their dumb ass. Exactly. You know, can, can you imagine? Because the, the other day you were telling me you were watching like a lower the car show from Arizona on YouTube. Uh-huh. Can you imagine if that car show says, take that video down, stop showing our cars? Right. That's the same thing, pretty much. Right. You know, or, hey, that's my Impala. T tell that guy to take it down or I'm going to give him a strike. Right. Okay. Norbert, what do you think about Bad Bunny wanting to sue uh, a, a fan for posting some footage of him on YouTube? That's a tough one, man, because this takes me back to Metallica. Okay. When uh, when the age of Napster, I think it was Napster. Yeah, but Napster? Let's, let's talk about cameras and YouTube. Well, I think it's related because in a sense, they, they wanted to sue uh, listeners that were downloading their music. Okay. Also oh, yeah, for free. That. And they made, they're the ones that pushed the laws for people to not download music okay. illegally. What, and about, what about LimeWire? LimeWire started putting viruses and shit. LimeWire yeah. gave your oh, computer yeah. AIDS. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to be very, very good at what you picked yep. back in the day. But um, do you think it's fair what he's doing? It's, it's not fair because, you know, if he's in the public eye like that, where he's literally outside into the world, Right. I mean, you, you already put yourself out there. I yeah. mean, yeah. It's like, this is why, what happens to celebrities when they get followed around by paparazzis. Yeah. yeah. Once you're out there and you're, you, you're famous, you, you give up that part of yourself. Yeah. You, you, know, you know, I want to say this. Now, I know he, he sells out stadiums, arenas, et cetera. My daughter, um, uh, my daughter uh, who's in the Air Force, huh. somebody invited her to go see Joe Rogan, a uh, stand-up uh, comedy, because right. he does comedy, okay? Right. And when they walked in, this place only fit like maybe like two to 300 people. Uh -huh. She was in there. When they went in there, they asked her for her phone. They put it in a plastic container. It's a see-through plastic container. And you take that container with you. So you cannot go in there. You cannot unlock it until you leave. They unlock it for you and they give you back your phone. That prevents people from videotaping, you know, from, I still say video, but recording uh -huh. or going live. Uh -huh. I get that. Right. But you can't do that when you're selling 16,000, 20,000, 40,000 arenas, uh -huh. you know, uh, arena seats. You, you can't do that. Right. So for him to try to go after somebody, I just think it's fucking unfair. Uh -huh. When me high C performed at last year's Arizona super show, there were people that were live. There were people that posted us on their Instagram. People posted on their Facebook. I was happy. Now I don't have bad money kind of, kind of money, but I was happy that people we knew we were back out there. Uh -huh. And I'm sure he doesn't need that. Right. I'm sure he doesn't even need the money. But why go the extra mile to try to sue a fan who paid a ticket to go see you? Well, check this out, homie. I ha I've had clients that I tattooed, and they're friends with celebrities, uh, some of them, and um, well, artists to be specific. And when they've had like certain little kickbacks at their pad, and it's a little thing, right? And they bring like random girls or whatever, they all have to check their phone in at the door. Mm. So they don't be taking random pictures or makeup stories or shit like that. Right. So, I mean, what if somebody told you to do that? <laughs> if you got it by, would you leave your phone at the door to go hang out at that party or kick it with them? Okay, two things. And I'm glad you asked me that question. Uh -huh. Two things. If somebody invited me and I didn't know that was going to happen and they told me at the door, right. that would be suspicious for me to like, what kind of party is this? Right. Now, if I knew ahead of time, uh -huh. Let's just say, I don't know, Mike Tyson was going to be there, fucking Julio Cesar Chavez or, you know, Bad Bunny, and I, I was going to go mingle and possibly get some of them on this platform or something, right. then, yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Right. But I'm no, I know what I'm getting into, right. you know. So it's a yes and a no. If, if I just went there blindly, it would be a no. Mm. Because I don't know what you're doing with my phone, bro. Right. There could be professional hackers, bro. Right. And mm. just take, out, take all this fucking info. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah, you know. and I mean, for me, I see it. What you know, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. You always do. And say, you know what? Well, it's a possibility. Maybe Bad Bunny knew this person. Maybe he knew this person True. was probably behind the scenes. You know, either stalking them, right, or uh, trying to uh, talk shit about them on on the internet. Right. You gotta and look at both sides. And he already knew that this guy was a fucking asshole. So as soon as he saw that, he's like, "Oh, you talk all that shit about me, and now you're trying to make money off of me." True. You know what? Let me sue you and let me show you how not to fucking. Could have been an ex lover. Hey, there you go. Was you it never a know. Bomb? And yeah. He's been a bad bunny. Hey, fucking dirty ass. But that's what I'm saying. You know, it, it's it's difficult because some people want to play the crying game, like they didn't do shit. Yeah. When all in the the whole time, that's all they were doing was talking shit. Yep. Okay. Well, like, uh, that's a certain individual mm-hmm. that took a lot of my footage. Yeah. Okay. Stole my footage what he did yeah put it on his platform got subscribers viewers received monetization all while somebody my name up so uh so he uh fucked around and found out fucked around and found out Ooh. so there it is there oh, there you go pal fuck around and find out uh, i actually like that you ever seen that meme that what? that one guy with the oh that shit was dope <laughs> right here right here go yeah. fuck around and find out <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he found out. <laughs> okay, Norbert, go ahead. Uh, switch the camera to him. I'm going to go get us our brews. Marvelous, do you want to be here or no? I'm good, homie. Thank you. All right. And since, since I've been on the topic a lot about sex uh, so far in the beginning, uh, this next story is about a man, 24-year-old uh, Somesh K, who uh, was a self-admitted sex addict. Uh, he goes by saying that he really felt that he was addicted to it and he was just not doing anything with his life. His life was consisting of just, you know, working, finding girls, banging left and right. It made him feel very empty. It didn't make him any richer, any more successful. So he took it upon himself to go to cold Turkey. Uh, He found a book by the name of, uh, name of the book was, uh, where the hell is that name? Uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Okay. Thank you. Uh, he, he found this book. It was written about 100 years ago. And uh, it was a type of book. It was like a self-help book. Okay. Stuff like a Joe Osteen. Y- yeah. Like, a, wait, what? <laughs> like a Joe Osteen. <laughs> yeah. Become a Better You. That was the name of his book. No, no, no. Fuck that. That's good. That guy. Uh, it's good. It's good. Uh, so he read this book and made him realize that, uh, he placed all his energy into the wrong places, which was sex. No shit. Yeah. Why was that wrong energy? Well, because he was, he was a sex addict. Oh, uh, 24 year old guy successful with the ladies. He, he got it every night. All right. He would go on and say he got about four or five women a night. What, what, what do you, what do you think about guys that say, and this is true. Guys have said this. Mm-hmm. That I've been with so many, so many women, I got bored. What does that even mean? Wait, what is that? Yeah, Marius, let us know. What the Sorry. fuck does that even mean, bro? I don't know, man. He's questioning his fucking manhood or some shit. That's what he is. I don't ever get tired of being with a woman. Hey. I don't understand that either. But we're going to take a little drink break. And uh, I went and got us some <laughs> Irish beer, some Guinness. That's all I know. I'm not an Irish expert. Okay, but that's all I know. It's the only thing that's trending. So I wanted to do what we did, the ghetto news. And then... Tullamore Dew, Irish whiskey. Can you confirm that that is Irish whiskey, Marvelous? Uh, no, you could ask some dude locked out. Yeah, I'm sure that Irish dude knows about that shit. <laughs> what do you think? No I reason. said it. Okay. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> no doubt. So. And it might be from Big Lots. <laughs> I got if, it big said, lots. if it said that on there. Yeah. <laughs> It might be from Big Lots on the clearance section. Remember, mm. like that tequila you brought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go serve yourself, Norbert. Okay. All right. So. Yeah. He goes on to saying that uh, one of the suggestions, one of the things about this, it says that you know, sex energy can be channeled into focus. How do you do that? Mar- like, Marvelous, do you sit there do you like know anything about that? Do, do you chance? like energy? You know, like, what do you do? You know, they, they have that saying about, I don't know if you've ever heard that phrase, semen retention. No. I, have you heard it, about it, Marvelous? Can you yes. can you expound a little bit on it? 
Well, I mean, it has to do with your chakras and your energy, and and you just have all this built up. Come, it's backed up, bro. But that is literally your energy. You know, that's why they say, you know, for athletes, don't um, don't engage in any um, you know, sexual acts. Because women weaken legs. Well, they're gonna weaken you with any, your what um Asians call your chi. You're, chi. They're gonna bring your 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 energy down, bro. And you believe that? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Oh shit. Yeah. All right. All right, because I, I know in Rocky, they say women weaken legs. Now, I know that's just a movie. Oh. And Mickey, Rocky's training to say that he didn't want him to be with any girls. Yeah. He wanted to have him build up all that shit. Right. So, I get it. Okay. Do you believe that, Norbert? Uh, Is that why you're always on edge? I think that's why I'm, I'm very focused, Tony. I'm extremely focused these days. So, you're built up, huh? <laughs> Quite a few years now. No wonder you, you told me you have blue balls. We'll sit on that side, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, you know what? It might there, there's some truth to it. You know, you get more focus, you get more done. You uh, you, you become you, like eventually you become one of the most hated YouTuber guys fuck. out there. <laughs> right, well, you're so focused. You know what? Yeah, you know what? Instead of focusing energy on getting laid, you're focusing on like trying to do something else, like make money. I would say make money, money, and and. I would say that that's, I don't know if that's true or not. Hey, I got to say, it's helped me grow. You, you know how there's God, people that say. In the wrong places. Instead, when you get angry, use that energy to do something else. There you go. You know, so I, I would say it, it's kind of like that, you know? Yeah. It's, yeah. Know. Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, sex energy turning into building energy, creating energy. You make, I mean, the whole point of sex is to create that's the whole point. I know some people just use it as a way to get off, feel good, feel, you know. When is the last time you created? I, I create every week. <laughs> every week when I make content. I want me gold. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm going to take a little shot, take a little sip. Marvelous, please. I've been taking <laughs> we're going we're to we're gonna go ahead and give Marvelous, serve him a little. Oh, nice. Not even half a shot? Uh, I can't, homie. What about after you address? Nah, we, I'm ready for this conversation. Okay, mm. hold on. We'll, we'll have it. Let me just take a little right, sip of rule. Mm. So I definitely do believe that. Uh, I mean, you should if you if you're if you're single, stop looking, focus on yourself, give yourself a year, give yourself two years, wow. grow in skills, grow in money, grow in management. Just grow. Just grow, and believe me. Two years of your life isn't going to mean shit. But a lifetime of success is going to be completely worth right. it. Um, we have a, a super chat really quick. It's called Frank the Tank. He dropped a dollar ninety nine. Thank hey. you. Tony, you want me to TKO Frost? No. <laughs> no. No, no. And, and, and I'm going to say this and drop it. Thank you. But thank you for dropping that. Your, your uh, question is hilarious, but I don't have anything against Frost. What I said, I said, and I left it at that. So, uh, Norbert, anything else? Oh, or are you ready to move on? Uh, as far as stories? I yeah, because I got a good one. Well, move on. Okay. okay. Go, go, go. okay uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and bring up the TikTok. Okay, TikTok is big around the world. Huge. That's People have said. become celebrity. <laughs> People have become celebrities. People have become fucking influencers, which I still don't know what the fuck that is. Okay. All because of TikTok. So now what they're saying, Norbies, is the house uh, passes bill that would ban TikTok if they don't sell the app. Jeez. So they're threatening China, correct? Wow. Okay. So here's my thing. If they do ban it, or they, let's just say they turn it off, which they're not, but let's just say they turn it off. Where do all the influencers go? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. They're going to get a VPN. Hey! <laughs> hey, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. that that's what's going to happen. But you got to realize, this isn't only going to affect these people that work for it on the U.S. side. This is going to affect people all around the world that, um, use, that get views from this country. Yeah. Because now they won't be able to get those views. They're not only affecting the people here, but they're affecting people uh, from different parts of the world. Mm-hmm. You know, these kinds of platforms are important because they allow us, they allow people to say certain information that mainstream media will never allow. Right, right, and, right. And, and provide uh, knowledge and information and real facts that are not allowed in mainstream media. I mean, we really do need these kinds of platforms to be around. 
because we, we unfortunately we, we really can't trust the mainstream. Do you media. need TikTok, marvelous? I don't need none of this shit. There I you go. None of it. There you go. Can we give him a hand clap for it's that? Garbage. One? Yeah, exactly. Stupid so, hey, you know, but <laughs> go ahead. TikTok is full of a lot of fake shit, though. And Everything people, is, and people pretending like the, I, I've seen a few influencers that do certain things, and then they just say, "Oh, it's just TikTok." So it's like you know, like it's not there. It's, it's you. Everything on no, me. but there's some yeah. people that you just use the excuse like it's just TikTok or oh, like yeah. you say it's just YouTube, you know. But it's like uh, some people are putting out fake information out there, things about Illuminati, fake and news. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just mm. s- weird shit and that nobody has control over, and you don't know if it's real or not. Or they're just trolling you, yeah. and to them, they're they're not telling you a truth. They're just telling you a story, and so yeah. for them, it's okay. But but you know, influencers. for me to to uh, play devil's advocate here again. What about leprechaun advocate? <laughs> leprechaun advocate. Uh, when you see your feed, you know, that all depends on, like, especially TikTok depends on what you're looking up. Like, for me, when I get, when I look at TikTok and what I get in my feed is usually, like, no, no, nah, nah, hey, that's how rumors get started. <laughs> uh, hey, I usually get, like, uh, the N word. What's it called? Uh, what the fuck's the name? <laughs> you guys fucked me up, man. Uh, you get fucking those people that look up ancient ruins. What okay, archaeologists. Archaeologists, yes, archaeologists. Uh, you get that. I and I get a lot of science stuff. I mean, it really depends on what you're looking at. Yeah. And and the, and and mind you, because with Instagram, I and my search feed, I get a lot of big-breasted women. But that's only because I follow Lowrider magazine. I follow all these people that, you know, just happen to big breasted big breasted women. But yeah. and then my whole fucking search thing gets flooded with big breasted women. <laughs> but that's only because I'm supporting these organizations like Lowrider. So you're supporting like big breasted women. And all right. It's unavoidable. So so are you for keeping TikTok? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely for keeping TikTok. Okay, I don't. I don't really care, uh, honestly. If we turn it off for a week, let let these influencers go get a job at a fucking warehouse. Hey, that's just me, bro. Because I'm gonna tell you why. TikTok has made people yeah, because I grand mucho. They get they got fucking big headed. Think they're above everybody because of a fucking app. Yeah. Okay. But for all the humble people that are earning, you know, their shit and stay humble, rooted and grounded, much love and respect to you guys. I'm talking about the, the guys that weren't popular in middle school, weren't popular in high school, but all of a sudden got a fucking camera. They go live, they talk shit. Now they get a little popularity, they go to their fucking head when you're really nobody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Period. Shit. Okay. So anyways, Norbert, go ahead. Well, okay. There's a, I guess... One of my last stories, but... Uh, hold, hold on. Uh, Alex, did, did we have another question or no? Uh, no. Okay, uh, let's add a question really quick. Mm-hmm. Uh, should we keep TikTok? Okay. There you go. I don't know. If this is interesting. I want to know your feedback. I, I, I kind of already know what you guys would probably say, but uh, let's just say it anyways. This one lady uh, went on the internet to uh, complain about okay. her boyfriend. Yes. Now, mind you, this lady's a... Uh, uh, a mom, she has like two kids. Mm-hmm. She got herself a boyfriend. Her guy, the guy is a good guy, has great morals, has a good job, stand up guy. Okay. Problem is, he talks to his teddy bear. Damn. You mean like that movie? Oh, like Ted, yeah, yes, Ted. yes, yes. Well, exactly. Well, this, except, you know, this one doesn't talk back. This is just a literal teddy that he talks to like. Like he was a regular person. Yes, he would tell his girlfriend, like, I actually told Teddy about so-and-so what we did. Okay, that would be fucking weird, bro. <laughs> so she goes out there to ask, like, should I be okay with this or should I just break up with the guy? Because, well, mind you, she already has two kids and this is her boyfriend. Okay, okay Marvelous. Yes, sir. Say so you're dating a girl. Again, hypothetical scenario. You're dating a girl and she has a teddy bear. She goes, you know what? I just need to talk to Bob. Because I don't like the way you're talking to me. And Bob understands me. He never talks back. So I need to talk to him before I see you again. What do you do? She ain't going to see me again. <laughs> she going to stay with Bob. <laughs> she, she on me. Yeah. the builder. <laughs> Fuck. That's hey, a good one. I like hey, that. I heard they're making a movie of Bob the Builder. And Bob the, the Builder? Yeah, Bob okay. the Builder. And the voice actor is going to be a Mexican. Who, Antonio Banderas? <laughs> 
I, I, I want to say George Lopez. Okay. Cheech will be good, but he's already been a Lion King. He was classic. Both lame. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, oh, so that's it? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see what you guys' opinion was on that. That, that was a short well, one. Well, what makes you guys think, why would a 40-year-old guy still talk to his teddy bear? What, what goes through because the Because he never psyche? fucking grew up. What do you think, Marvelous? I, I don't even know. I think they need some therapy, homie. They, is that they're what it talking is? to. A, okay, no, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, homie. My bad. No, go ahead. I, I fucked up. I should have just. Stop waited. fucking up. Stop fucking <laughs> I up. I should have just waited. Talked, please. Okay, no, I well, mean, I don't know. I mean, I it, was going to say something but, irrelevant, but I was just going to say, do you guys know why they even call it a teddy bear? Oh, no. Why? Yeah, why? Because Teddy Roosevelt uh, invented them and he started selling them. Oh, for real? Yeah. No, dope. So that's oh. why they always call the bears teddy bears. So what was the first teddy bear then? Was it Teddy Ruxpin? Or <laughs> I, I don't know, but I know that a president, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, uh, that's why they call him. Wow, I didn't know that. Because he a good started selling fact. them. Hey, thank you, bro. That's a good that. random I, I, fact. I didn't even know that, homie. Yeah. I mean, I'm never going to use it. But yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm going to use it. <laughs> I, didn't that, I didn't know that. All good. I love random facts. Okay. That's it? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was it. Okay, I mean, Norbert, I got one more. once again. I got one more. No, you, I, no, 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 I got one. Okay, but let me ask you this. You dating a girl, and she has a fucking stuffed cat. I need to talk to Kitty, because Norby, I don't like the way you're treating me. Let me talk to Kitty, and I'll get back to you. What would you say? Okay. Fuck Kitty. That's what I would say. Oh, okay. I don't, know. All right. I don't care. Would you still go out with her? Like I said. They, Kitty wanted like me said, to give you another chance. She said that the guy's a stand-up guy. She's Kitty wanted morals. me to give you another chance. If she has a good job, she has good morals. Talk where the fuck Morals you with want. fucking Kitty? Fuck. <laughs> <My mama. laughs> fuck. Talk to your Yoshi. <laughs> Kitty with me. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, you know it's time for a refill. I'm all right with that. I'm, I, I, I'm feeling very Irish today. That, that's not where I'm gonna, put, uh, you know, set the bar right there. Okay, Nobody, you ready for your second shot? I'm still on the first. Oh, you're lagging it. Mm. How much do they pay you to babysit? <laughs> uh, okay, you got another one. Or? No, no, hold on. Uh, Ray Rice. Uh, Tony, what are your thoughts on Dr. Dre getting his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame? It should have been years ago because I don't understand how fucking fat ass DJ Khaled had a star years ago. Bakery? For doing nothing, okay? Dr. Bakery? Dre should have been the first one. And as a matter of fact, anybody want to go, I'm going to be there supporting. Well, I heard so, a rumor that uh, you could pay for it. No, you do have to pay for your star, but you have to qualify. No, no. So you could pay to get your star. Okay, then that's probably what Khaled did. I, now, let me ask you this. Do you think Dre deserves one? Oh, yeah, he definitely, I mean. Definitely. 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 Okay, that's it. Definitely. Do you think Khaled deserves one? I don't even know who that is. Okay, oh. there it is there. Oh. DJ Khaled. No way, bro. Exactly. No way. But he has one already. He, gave he, had, he got one before Dre? He yeah. had a couple of years ago. Oh, really? Wow. It's, yeah. It's just who you know and how much money you got. Well, how hey, much? A bunch of Palestinians were going in on his ass because he never said anything about Palestine. That guy's Palestinian? Yes. Again, I don't know who he is. So it's, so, anyways, who gives a fuck? All right. Uh, let's go to uh, Broke Bruno. Oh, I heard about this one. Okay, go ahead and read that to us, Alex. Okay, that says Bruno Mars allegedly has 50 million gambling debt with MGM Casino. God, uh, I mean, what did they do? They front his ass? Yeah, that's what casinos usually they do. They wind and dine them. They, they, once they, they, they know you, you got that kind of bag, they will front you the money. Okay, but let's be honest. Look, I know he's got money, but do you really think he's got 50, 50 million laying in his bank? Yeah. To pay that off? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. He I don't think so. Bro, they're making point zero 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 all, three all, cents. Although, no, his concerts, he, he had a... Do you think he's got 50 right I'll, now, 50 actually, million I'll to pay? I'll tell you his contract that he had because he became a, what do you call that, resident? He's, he's, he's a resident? Re, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? When, you know what I mean, Tony? When, uh, when you have your own show in Vegas. Yeah, the residency, so does Wu-Tang, yeah. so does a lot of people. Do you think he has 50 million... I don't know. Who is that? Hey, Bruno Mars. Oh, I don't know. Man. Uh, right here on Google, it says his net worth is $175 million. Oh, there you go. Okay, so do you really think he's got that in the bank, though? That's just his net worth. Well, well, that, yeah, that's just I mean, you can't believe that. Then, then they say you're, you're like a $35 millionaire on there. Me too. I'm a $35 <laughs> millionaire. Look me up, Alex. Look me up. Don't <laughs> yeah, borrow money. Do not borrow money. <laughs> put that on his thing. I didn't know that. Alex, what the? Look me up. What is Tony A worth? No wonder these guys hate me. Boom. <laughs> That's a big Boom yeah. shakalaka. That's an M80 right there. Go ahead, Norbert. I hate dead air. 
Oh wait, I was Come gonna. On, Norbert. I was gonna look up here how much his contract was for his uh, residency. All right, so here's a story about uh, this chick that was uh, looking for love in Tinder. You can take her, take him down now. For real? Yes, she Hold was looking. She was looking for love in Tinder. Tinder. Yeah, they're not on Tinder. They're on Christian Mingle. Ah, probably. But they're not Christian. Well, this one, uh, she got she got that. I guess they call it an uh, electric match, or they call it some sort. Oh, they call it dream date. Okay. They call it dream date. I guess that's when you get like a super match. Like, this is the guy. This is the guy. Like, this is the one. Everything that you put on your shit matches with this fool's shit. You guys are I don't believe be. in all that shit. I, I do not believe in all that shit, but go for it. So they start talking. Okay. She makes the connection. They go out on a date. Um, it's pretty a nice, fancy date. I think he took her out to go eat seafood. Okay. A uh, couple of weeks later, this guy come, message, messages her. Can I borrow three hundred? No, I'm sorry, not borrow. Can I have three hundred seventy six dollars to uh, pay my electric bill? They're gonna shut it off. What the fuck? In other words, she said, "I want me gold." <laughs> <laughs> so it just goes. It, it goes back to that. That uh, sh- is it okay for a man to be asking a woman for money? Is that okay? I mean, he is giving her the goods. He is providing sex. Care, comfort, I, communication. I, I'll be honest. Is that man. not worth? I, I'm going to speak for myself. I don't bill. feel comfortable doing it. Marvelous. What do you think? Giving a girl money? Giving, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, giving a guy money. Get a girl giving a guy money? Mm-hmm. You're taking a loan from a girl. I mean, I don't know about loans, but if, if a girl wants to help out a dude, then I mean, that's cool. Or if a guy, if the vice versa. If I don't want no, to it's help. like you called up your girl and you're like, hey, yeah, let, I don't uh, ever ask. Yeah, let me get 500. Yeah, really. Well, yeah, that's what this guy did. He asked her, hey, can I really? get money to for my electric bill? They're going to turn it off. He asked I mean, her. If he really and they're just dating. Whatever, I mean, I they're dating. Know. They're not even in a relationship. I, I, honestly, I, I, I can't do that, homie. Yeah. I can't even, I wouldn't even be able to borrow. What about you, Alex? Guys. Hell no, I don't get money. But you know what? I've seen a lot of things where there's people like in Europe catfishing women out here, and yeah. they're sending money out there to those guys, like ten thousand. Yes, uh, and 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 they they got like a pyramid scheme. So they send back, they send like twenty racks, and they'll send back five racks, and then they'll say, okay, I'll let me borrow another ten, and I'll give you your the damn rest double up. Yeah, it's crazy. I guess they're catfishing women, man. <laughs> yeah. Man. yeah. Start catfishing. Rabbit. Come on, bro. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, okay, Alex, can you bring up the last one, please? I got to make sure that this shit is still on because I'm trying to refresh my fucking page. Okay. No, the Pope. The Pope. Yes. Okay, I don't know why my shit is um is lagging, you guys. My apologies. Okay, my shit is freezing, bro. Is your are you guys still on live? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Now go ahead and read that to us, Alex, and then uh, I want all of us to chime in before we hand the floor over to Marvelous. Go ahead. Okay, Pope Francis has approved priests to bless same-sex couples. Fucking dumb. Okay, read that one more time for the people in the back. Pope Francis has approved priests to bless same-sex couples. Okay, Norbert, marvelous. From what you know, has any other pope ever done this? No. Well, I mean, you never know what these guys do behind closed doors. No, it's publicly. From what you know, publicly. Publicly, has, uh, no. No, okay. No. I told Alex, what do you think why he what do you think he's doing it? And he goes, clout. Clout. <laughs> okay, clout but let's be honest. He needs the clout. Look, right now being gay is trending. Wait, but isn't that what Rita Moreno did? Didn't she say that whole Elvis thing for the clout? For clout, okay. But right now being gay is in. Uh-huh. Okay. So he jumped on the bandwagon, bro, because he knows that there are now more Muslim followers than there are Catholic followers. I think it's just they're just going by that the same trend as the elites. It's okay to put it out in the open what they truly yeah. are. Okay, but okay, according to Catholics, okay, that I know, uh-huh. that not yet, Alex. According to Catholics that I know, they're against this guy right now, bro. Yeah. Like this guy really pissed off a lot of Catholic people. When we open up the phone lines, I want you, if you're Catholic, call in and let us know what you guys think of this, mm. okay? Now, yeah. let me ask you this, I, even though I already know you guys' answers, maybe not yours, but 
Are you for this? Never. 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 Are you for this? Again, see, it's another form of government. Hey, it's either yes or no. <laughs> yes or no. <laughs> okay. It's, fuck. Hey, they said it, yes or no. <laughs> okay. Alex, are you for this? <laughs> Hell no. Okay. Um, did, did you already put up the other question? Yes. How many minutes has it been up there? Because I'm going to ask this. Ten minutes. Okay. Give us the results. Okay. 180 by, uh, 185 votes. Should we keep TikTok is the question. 28% said, hell yeah, it's important. And 72% said, hell no. Wow. Okay, I'm wow. going to ask a controversial question, and I'm only bringing it up because I know and I love my Catholic friends. But I want to ask you guys, uh, um, should the Pope bless same-sex marriage? Yes or no, Alex? Okay. Should the Pope bless same-sex marriage? And look it. I'm just putting it out there because this is what's trending. This is what he said that he's for. And no other pope in history, bro, I know diehard Catholics that are older than me that have told me, we can't stand that motherfucker. Those are the words that some Catholic friends that are Jeez. diehard Catholics that have said, fuck this motherfucker. And I'm like, damn. That's crazy. I wouldn't mind hearing what uh, an Italian would have to say. Because I know Italians are big Catholics, right? Bro, Irish are, are big time like Catholics. Mexico is big time we Catholics. We have like the biggest fucking exactly, bro. Catholic. So that, that too, that too. You know, I say that because I know if you go to any Italian restaurant, they have the Pope in LA. They either have, they have the Pope and then they have uh, that old coach from the Dodgers. Lasorda. Lasorda. Yeah. Okay. So now here's my thing. And I'm, my last point is this, according to whether you're Catholic or not, but according to a, 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 um, a person that was raised Catholic in the scriptures, it totally teaches against that. Yeah. So here is the leader of the Catholic Church saying it's okay. So my question is to you, who gave you that authority to do that? He just overword, overrode the word of God according to Catholics and said it's okay, go ahead and do it. Yeah. So uh, Marvelous, True. if you had an opportunity and he was willing to talk to you, would you interview him? The Pope? The Pope. Nope. Okay. Um, Norbert, if you had an opportunity and he, he agreed... Would you give him an interview? Yes. Okay. Uh, my answer is yes, too. Uh, and I would be honest with you. I would drill his ass. I would. I would. I, do you want to rephrase that? Nah. Take it literal. <laughs> Verbally, I would drill his ass. All right, all right. I just had to add it in the very beginning. Okay. Yes. So, all right. Other than that, Marvelous, um, we've come to the time, okay. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Before we start, uh, let, 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 let me put a, 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 what's it called? A marker. Uh, so Action. Action, so we could get all the, so the, we know when exactly these cocksuckers are going to make these clips. <laughs> okay. okay, marvelous. All right, well, why don't you start with your with your um, your episode the other day? You, Which one? Um, the ball run the fade. Which one, though? Um, well, the last one. The last, the last one. one. The last one was uh, when uh, I was supposed to go to American Cholo's podcast because uh, West Coast Graffiti. Uh, and shout out to West Coast. He did two. He worked two weeks in promoting this event. Uh, he was here for uh, the the show that we uh, did. Wrote him after dark. Wrote him after dark, and uh, he asked me, "Hey, would you go to Gil's show and and you know talk with him?" So who suggested him. this? Him or did him. Gil want you? Him, no. West okay. Coast. West Coast wanted to make this happen. So he ended up uh, asking Gil it, to make this happen. And Gil actually said, yeah. I was actually shocked. I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> now, now, I do want to say something. This guy didn't tell me he was going over there until the day of. You were like in the room when this happened, though. <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But uh, so that happened. West Coast was promoting for two weeks. And that the day that it was supposed to happen, he messaged me. We worked out a way for us to, like, carpool over there. Because, like, why take two cars when we just take one? So, in, we, all, we, we pretty much agreed on the time. And then all of a sudden, he uh, tells me, hey, you think you go in there a little bit early? I'm like, nah, bro, I can't, I can't do that. Like, the time I told you that, that's the time, like, I could. I said, okay, well, let me check back with this dude. And then... I guess, once he did, he t he pretty much told West Coast, "Nah, forget it. I'm not, I don't want to do it anymore." I he, like, he told him, oh, did, did he tell him that day? Yeah, he told him that minute. Like it was like maybe I want to say maybe three or four hours before the show would start. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. 
So the show still went on that he does the segment with West Coast and Boo Boo. Right. Mind you, I was like, fuck it, I don't care. Not like I really wanted to go there anyways. Right. I would have anything. If I, but this was West Coast anything, idea. Yeah, this was West Coast idea. If anything, I was going to have fun the way I usually have fun on, on my show. And, and, you know, like you said, what you would do to the Pope. Yeah. You know, I would do the exact same thing. You would drill him. <laughs> he might Verbally. Just, he just might like it. Um, so I pay no mind. Fuck it, whatever. I don't care. Move on. I move on on my day. Just chill. And then and then I suddenly said, you know what? Let me go. Uh, let me go in here and listen. Just yeah. just to see what what topics they're talking about. <laughs> Much to my surprise, I hear this cocksucker saying, "If if Normie doesn't take this vi- that video of me down from his channel, I'm gonna expose Tony A. Wow. I'm gonna expose Marvelous. I'm gonna put out all these receipts about the him. He's got." 30 minutes to take it down. I'm going to look at my phone. And if he doesn't do it right now, I'm going to expose his friends. Expose my friends. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, okay. All right. So this guy, so this is, this is why he didn't want me to be there. Right. Because right. he just wanted to hype it up, making people think that I was going to be there. Yeah. Through West Coast under the bus, his audience, poor guy, two weeks work, two weeks worth of work on promoting. Right. Fucking like nothing. Gone down the drain. Anyways, this guy had the audacity to just say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this fool take down a video. He didn't want to go the, the way of Blue Dildo and just give me a strike. Okay, so he was threatening you. He was, if, he was threatening. If you don't take down a video that you did, right? Mm-hmm. That he, my channel, Run the Fade Podcast. That he was going to expose me and Marvelous? Yes. Yes. Expose us how? Did he say? No, no, he didn't say. He said he had receipts. He, he, he uh, According to him, he had nuclear receipts. He oh, used nuclear. the N-word. He used the N-word. He used the N-word. You're never supposed to use the N-word. I mean, we all know he he, he likes using the other N-word, but this time he used the, the other, the, yeah. the nuclear one. Yeah, the nuclear one. But, um, so I said, okay. So is, is that how men get down today? Like, we just threaten people, like, on social media, on YouTube? That's never that's, happened to that's me. That's what's been happening with that fool. You know, it's like whatever happened to like marvelous. You know what? I need to talk to you face to face, like man to man. Is it is is that out the door? Every time I've needed to talk to you, Tony, what do I do? You, either you call me or you come to me face to face. I come over here, bro. Yeah, I told you. Hey, I need to talk to you. Bam, and I tell you what it is. Yeah. And what happened, bro? What okay, happened? so my bad, Tony. That was all good. So at that point, I was like, oh, okay. So he wants to threaten me and say all these things when I'm not there. Mm-hmm. All right. So I did exactly what I did to Blue Dildo, and I, I called his show. Uh, and, I, and I told him, here I am. You didn't want me to be, be there, but here I am right now. Yeah. And he, at that point, he started coming, well, what about, well, what about Tony's thing? When's the Chicano rap thing going to come out? Blah, 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 blah. What about Marvelous? Marvelous putting out this fake paperwork about me. What about those things? What about him working with informants, you know, doing all these things? What about blah, 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 blah. I'm like, and me and my thinking, I'm like, I'm not Tony. Why the fuck are you asking me those questions? Yeah, yeah. I'm not Tony. I'm not Marvelous. Why don't you ask them? Why don't you call them? Why don't you face them face to face and ask them these questions? Why are you going to ask the guy that has nothing to do with that stuff? Yeah. All but, right. But at the end of that, that he, once I turned it on him, because he did try to push out that part where Marvelous read this quote unquote fake paperwork, which I thought was funny because like a couple of days after that, that clip, he had the exact same paperwork. Except he said, look, people, it has a different last name. That's not me. He had the exact same fake paperwork that he, he read. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, most people are not going to know that because he has a habit of taking it down. Taking it down. <laughs> but he didn't think I was going to watch that part. Yeah. He read the exact same fake paperwork with a different last name. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so so real quick, homie, you got your own podcast, right? Yes, sir. What's it called? Run the Fade Podcast. Is your podcast, a, am I in any way associated with your podcast? No, you're not. I'm not. No. Yeah, I didn't have any dealings or whatever because this, this dude seems to put us all in the same boat with each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. I know you're my friend. You're my friend. Yeah. But 
our channels have nothing to do with each no, other. No, they're not. If I get invited by Tony, thank you, homie. I appreciate yeah. that. You también. I, hey, thank you, homie. Yeah. I haven't yet. You know, yeah. so it's cool. Yeah. You know, that's your show, homie. That That's what he's doing. Right. But he has a habit of being, oh, all you guys run together. What do you say that if you invite one somebody, uh, we have it to invite them all, right? Yeah, yeah. Or something. That, that stupid ass thing that I guess nobody can be their own independent you know, channel. Yeah. Everybody's together. I, yeah. I'm sure he's gonna come out with the, with a little story of why he didn't and, and why he denied him access right. to the show or right. to go over there. But what do you think? Why do you think he didn't want you to go after him? I honestly believe that he he's definitely scared of me. He knew that I could talk just like him, if not better. I could respond a lot quicker. I would definitely shut him down. And he didn't need somebody like me on his show to embarrass him in front of his audience. I mean, just that one phone call I did already embarrass them, already made him sweat, already made him panic. I mean, at that point, he didn't even wait for the timer anymore. He's just like, no, he already heard me. He already made me look stupid. Let me just fucking put all this out now. Okay, so you called in and he actually talked to you. Yeah, so, and I gave him credit because... I, I did the same thing with uh, Blue Dildo. I kept calling him and calling right. him when he kept telling his audience, oh, I'm taking phone calls, but nobody wants to call me. Right. <laughs> and, I called in too. And thankfully, I had my whole audience looking, literally looking at my phone, me calling. But I gave credit. At least he actually picked up. Probably because he didn't know my number. But he could have easily clicked on me. Okay, then Marvelous, if I'm correct, while he was live, you called in. And how far did that phone call go? Marvelous. How far, when I called in? Yeah, when you called in. He hung up on me, homie. Okay, so. And I, call, I called, I called, I um, called. No, no, what I'm saying is, okay, you called in, he said hello. And then what happened next? Well, I called in, I didn't call his number, I actually called West Coast. Okay, so yeah. he answered? Yeah, West Coast answered, and um, I, he gave uh, old boy the phone, you know. And, and what, he just hung up? And no, well, I started, you know, voicing my opinion, and he came out with the whole, you know, super cholo thing that he's going to give me th 13 seconds. So, I mean, now, you know, I mean, he's giving me 30 seconds. What a privilege, right? Yeah. And so when I start to voice my, my you know, my thoughts or whatever I was going to say, homie, um, I get hung up on, you know, and I, I'm, I'm blowing up West Coast phone and West Coast just, just um, you know, and man, I truly I've never been so disappointed in somebody yeah. in, my, in my life, homie, yeah. for not having a backbone. And that's, that's for you, West Coast. You know what I mean? I hate to say it on, on here, homie, you know, because I have so much respect for you, bro. But for you to let another man handle your phone and hang up on me, I mean, I, I would never let that happen, homie. Fix not even, with, right not even with, with a friend, you know what I mean? So I get this text message. Dispensa, he doesn't want me to answer. Dispensa, he doesn't want me to answer. So is that, is that your vato? Is that your, your man? Yeah. That he doesn't want me to. I mean, if you tell me you don't want me to answer somebody, I'm a man, homie. Of course. I'm not going to listen to nobody. And I wouldn't tell you as, a, as right. a grown man how to conduct yourself. Right. You know what I mean? So that's a big disappointment. You, you know? know, Marvelous. Look, okay, you and Norbert have your own show. Let's just say you guys interviewed somebody, I don't know, fucking Peter. Okay. And Peter throws a cheap shot at me. And uh -huh. I'm watching. He says, you know what? Fuck Tony A. That motherfucking thief. Let's just say he said that. Mm -hmm. And they just say, hey, bro, you know, I'll tell you what. It, whenever you see Tony, you let him know. He, don't mm. say it here. Mm. Let's just say you say something like that, okay? Uh -huh. I'm not going to be in my feelings and say, fucking Marvelous and Norbert, let him say that. I'm not going to hold you accountable, bro. Uh -huh. That guy said it, and uh -huh. that was it. Yeah. Right. Uh, and I do want to say something. I know uh, Boo Boo is his co-host. Uh -huh. I met Boo Boo several times. If Boo Boo came here, he filmed an episode for, for members only, and I respected him for that. Yeah. Um, if... You know, if this guy said something about me, I wouldn't hold Boo Boo accountable for what he said. Right. Yeah. But he tends to do that. Mm. Yeah. He he tends to do that. <laughs> That's good. He wants That's to hold good. everybody yeah. accountable, yeah. bro. Yeah. He's called up a gang of uh, people, a, a including Commitment Soldier. Yeah. You know that other battle, and I am gonna say his name. Go I don't ahead, care. Go ahead. You know, and and um, told them, oh, if you fuck with Marvelous, don't call me no more. You know, and Commitment Soldier, if you're ever confronted on this, tell the truth. That's it. Tell the truth, homie. Don't don't be a little liar, homie. And we talked about it in person, homie. And that's another you you let me down too, homie. Like these vato, what happened to being a man? And I'm the most solidest vato, and and I'm loyal to you. And Charlie, those are the ones that are talking all this shit. Are the most lamest vatos out here, or real yeah, shit, Tony? I know, I know. It's fucking stupid. So he hits me up and he tells me, West Coast tells me, oh, I'll call you after. After I'm sending all these messages to him, you know, oh, I'll call you after. 
Like, what does that mean? Oh, I still haven't gotten a call. But no, it is for you, man. I don't need a call from him. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I just expected, you know, just like you said, oh, I could show up over there in, in 15 minutes, right? And then West Coast gets on the phone and says, oh, don't come. Don't disrespect. You weren't invited. Like, who are you now to, to, to talk for him now? Yeah. Like, let him say if he doesn't want you there. Yeah. And it's yeah. not like you're going to show up disrespectfully. I'm not. I wouldn't. Yeah, you, you were going over there, and the night before, we had said, hey, you know what, feed me. Yeah. Go over there with good vibes. I got, yeah, I got a lot go of great advice Go over there respectfully and have a conversation. Yeah. yeah. But the minute, you, the minute this fool feels pressed about anything, yeah. he'll shut you down. Yeah. He wants his audience only to listen to him. Yeah. That's why he won't take my calls. That's why his wife, and no disrespect to his wife at all. She's a nice woman. But that's why he has her in the other room, deleting all these comments, anything disrespectful, deleting, or don't answer that, don't answer this. They did it when I was there at the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyways, he wants to post up, uh, uh, what did he post up about me, bro? Uh, I believe he posted up pictures of your family. Okay, well. At a very. Okay, but first of all, let, let's get uh, uh, the first thing, right? He posted up screenshots of text messages, his receipts, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. His yeah. nuclear receipts. Yeah. Then let's talk about that. Okay. So before I knew you, Tony, yes, right. There's a little rumor going around about you. Whatever, yeah. I gave my opinion. Yes, on the rumor itself. Whether I said if that guy, whatever, is guilty of whatever, fuck him. You know, I, I said it. I don't care. I came over here and we didn't know each other. We didn't know each other. But that doesn't even that doesn't even matter. Right. The thing, what I'm saying is that we're talking about the allegation itself. Yeah, anybody has that shit. Fuck them. You know, I don't deal with them, and I'm waiting to see if the, what you call it, is true or not. Right. And it came out to be, you were found not guilty. Right. Ain't nobody had no paperwork on nothing. There ain't nothing unless they're proven guilty of it. Not a fucking accusation. Right. Somebody could blame that about though for the same thing. And yeah. say, hey, you know what? Gil held me down, and he made me fucking lick the ball on his eyebrow. Or whatever. You know what I mean? Is that true? Right. Nah. It's not, it's, uh, that's an allegation, homie. Mm, that's right. why, you know, you go through that paperwork. Okay, right. so I told you, he does not a receipt on nothing. Right. He thinks he has all these receipts. That ain't a receipt on shit. Yeah. The other, what were you going to say? Go ahead, bro. No, um, when we first met each other, we eventually talked about all this, and you right. had pretty much told me. Right. And uh, there was a time where the pressure was really, really hitting him when he was being accused of being a racist by this Tariq Nasheed guy. There you oh, go. Okay. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. And I'm going to say this, bro. And I'm not going to go deep into it, but you know who was calling him every time he was going through a trial? I was. Uh -huh. Every single time. And you know what I was doing? To encourage him. Uh -huh. yeah. Don't worry about it. I got your back. We're good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, uh, you need anybody to talk to? Whatever. You know, you want to talk about receipts? I still have all my text messages, but I'm not the type of man that's going to go ahead and like throw them out there. I don't have nuclear nothing. They're just text messages. Okay? Yeah. And then one day he just threw me a, a text message, I guess, where you had said what you said. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking to myself, okay, Gil, we already talked about this. Like, yeah. I already talked about about Marta. I don't, I don't care. Uh -huh. Like, and then I showed it to you, and then I said, look, this this guy showed showed uh -huh. me or whatever. Right. Um, and even then, I still talk. I I brought Gil here twice. Uh -huh. You know, I brought Gil here twice, and we were good. But I knew what he was trying to do, but. I, th I guess he knew that I was too much of a strong man for him to say, Tony, I'm going to draw the line that if you don't side with me, fuck you. You're not going to play that role with me, bro. Mm. I'm not that fucking kind of man, straight up, bro. Mm. You know I'm not that kind of man. You're not going to do that to me. You know, Marvelous is my friend. Norbert is my friend. You could have been my friend, but you decided to go, you know, like, Tony, if you can't cut them off, then you know what? You're no longer my friend. Bye. Mm -hmm. You know, here's my thing. One last thing, then I'll, I'll let you finish. He invited me to go speak at the Cali Mac rally, okay, where everybody got together. And I said, okay, cool. He, uh, and he was here when he invited me, and I went out there. This was at a church, okay? I met the pastor there. I went up there and spoke, me and uh, Hood Santa. I think you were there, right? Yeah, no? I was there. I was okay, there. and I spoke, okay? A couple other people spoke. And here's my thing. This was a church where they worship God. One thing that Gil should have done, at least talk to his guests that were going to speak and say, this is the church you know, conduct yourselves, you know, you know, and in a manly way, there were guys up there cursing in the church, bro. Yeah. There were guys up there giving their speech cursing and never once did he ever correct them. Yeah. The pastor came up to me and told me, you know what, Tony, thank you very much. You know, I loved your speech and I'm thankful that you didn't curse. And I said, Oh no, I, I respect the house of God. Here's one thing that I would like to do. I would like to talk to that pastor, probably bring him in for Bible talk. Mm. And ask him, 
What does he think about Gil, the way he conducts himself? Do you ever watch his podcast? Wow. Are you his pastor? Does he go to your church? Because why would you let a man like that come into your church and allow these people in like this, bro? That's not going to work, Tony, because he deletes all his uh, controversial videos. No. So the pastor so, would so, not be able to see that kind of content. Yeah, I, I know. But, but that's my thing. It's like, bro, like you, you brought us into a house of God and you allowed your people just to speak any way you want, bro. Mm. And if that's your pastor, you, you ought to be ashamed of yourself as a man, bro. So but check it out. What was that whole movement for anyways? You know, and then he's he's gonna he's gonna sit right there and because he's getting uh he's getting pressed by the dude Tyreek Nasheed, right? Yeah. He's gonna yes. go ahead and, and try and debate him uh, on a on what the what was it no jump or or one of the yeah. platforms that he was right? Yeah. How is this dude, you American Chola? How are you gonna go debate somebody when you don't know shit about shit? You don't know nothing about cultura. And mm. you know what? It was even more sad is that he says this all the time that he don't give a shit about our cultura. Yeah. He said it came from your mouth on your video that you said you don't give a shit about our cultura. That's in the past. We're living in today. What does that matter? Jeez. That's what matters. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you ashamed of your cultura of where you come from? But you know, so he's one of those guys where like I don't give a fuck about the community. I give a fuck about me. He's yeah. one of those guys. Well, there you go. He's one of those. There guys. you go. Okay. Like, how are you gonna debate somebody when you don't got no knowledge on anything, any of those subjects? He would demolish you. No, it would, would be embarrassing, homie. He would have demolished, especially though. when the people are holding this dude to such a high standard, homie, of being a representative of the people, and he thinks that he's a spokesman for everybody. Yeah. You know, how is he gonna represent us at war, homie, and this time of battle? You, you know, Marvelous, one day he called me, okay? He called me. He goes, hey, Tony, um, can you give me a Marvelous's number? And I called you. He already had it. I didn't know that. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. And, and let me explain first why I didn't know that, that he had your number. Right. Because supposedly this so-called beef right. was before I ever met you or right. him. Mm -hmm. So this had been going on because of the whole Chicano word. The whole Chicano word. I was going to bring that up right now. Okay, and we'll, we'll talk about that. So I want to make this thing clear. If there was a beef, it was before I ever met Marvelous or before I ever met Gil. Okay? So Gil calls me one day and tells me, hey, uh, Tony, can I get uh, Marvelous's number? And I said, okay, uh, let me talk to him first because I don't want to give out a man's number. But don't talk to him first. I called Marvelous. Marvelous told me this respectfully. Tony, give him my number. But he has my number. And I said, really? He goes, yeah, and my number is in my bio on Instagram. And I'm like, fuck. So I just texted to him anyways. Did he ever call you? Well, that, that was a time where he actually called me after he tried to disrespect me on, on, on one of your interviews with Hypnotic. Mm, which well, I was going to get into. Okay, go so ahead. So what, so what this all stands for, for everybody watching is probably wondering or, or don't know, like all these other podcasters that have no idea where this shit stems from, it stems over the word Chicano. The word Chicano, okay? So for those that don't know, I do, uh, I do an episode with Tony called Cause of Marvelous where people hit me up and they're able to ask me anything that I know about whatever I might know about. If I don't know something, I'll admit to you I don't fucking know it. And if you do want to debate me, I'll tell you, go ahead. I'll, like, if you could teach me something, teach me, right? So a lot of people use those terms around, and they don't know the definitions or the true meanings of what, where they come from or stem from, right? So some caller calls in and asks me the definition of Chicano, and I gave them the definition of Chicano on your show. Yeah. The, one of the other callers calls in and goes, well, how come Gil says that he's Chicano when he's from Honduras? Like, yeah. is he able to do that? Yeah. And I said, no. Chicano is not just a word. It's a bloodline that comes from the Mexica word. Mexica comes from the word of a, of a man named Mexi who led us out of our captivity and our migration down to Mexico City. Mexicano. That's where we get our, our name from. It's not some made up word that somebody made up and shit like that. No, this is an actual fucking bloodline. Okay. So I gave the definition. This little girl got all hurt over that. You know, and he said it and, and when he called me, you know, so what he does is I didn't know why he blocked me. He made up a story later to you and the audience when he called in hypnotic why he blocked me. But that's not the real reason. The real reason was in that conversation when he told me why he blocked me. 
because he's dealing with his own issues because he was being dis- disrespected by the black community for using the n-word which yeah. he'd use. he used he uses. slipped up on a lie with, with sonny yeah. when he actually ca- uh said that word with yeah. sonny and sonny was, they were actually arguing over that word homie and and he was saying oh i don't use that word i don't use that word and then he went and used it and he slipped he slipped right but it, whatever he uses that word you know what i mean like he, he's the one that's making all these words a big deal yeah, like he shouldn't be so bothered but because he watched blood in blood out you know the movie he thought that that definition what they gave on that movie was the real thing mm. okay well then you go ahead and watch your little movies homie mm. that we all grew up with and you believe everything in the movies then mm. you know so what he did was he called in to hypnotic i hope you don't mind me showing uh, uh, sharing this homie but this is what started the whole thing okay this phone call right here. Turn the mic. Hey, glad you're joining in, dog. How you doing, homeboy? For sure, man. So listen, man. I want to change this conversation just a little bit, Tony, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay, so it's like this, man. I got a, I got, I got a jackass. The, the guy who's on your comment section was marvelous. I got another jackass who's marvelous who wants to sit there and, and, and debate me and say that I'm not Chicano. Listen, homeboy, I was born Durango. I was born Durango, right? I'm from North Hollywood. All that bullshit that we're not Chicano, we're not this, we're not that, we're brown people. We need to get off that fucking subject. We need to sit there and support one another. I am a guy that was born on Duras from North Hollywood. Have I not represented for the Raza? Oh. Have I not sat there and put my fucking life, my, my, my life on the line for the Raza? All this shit about we're not this, we're not that, we need to come together and stop with the bullshit. I call it any motherfucker okay so here we go he's saying he's saying these are your words you just heard them that we need to get off of that bullshit or whatever so you're saying that the person that called me that wanted to educate himself on that word he's bullshit for anybody that wants to further their knowledge about our cultura is bullshit because to me it's not bullshit Right. And I'm not the one calling me, asking me what the definition of a word is. This yeah. is our people calling in, yeah. wanting to educate themselves. Yeah. Okay? So he's saying, all you guys, get off that fucking bullshit. We're yeah. all Chicanos. Because he's hurt that he's not a Chicano, and he can no longer say that he's Chicano. I don't understand why that's a big fucking right? thing for him. I, I really don't. And his don't. last words right there, what are you doing for the raza? Let's break it down what we're doing for the raza. What is Gil done for the Rasa? Because I hear a lot of phone calls that get called to him and, and them saying, oh, Gil, I love what you're doing, homie. I love what you're doing. And I'm not trying to put myself above anybody, so don't try to make that yeah. narrative. Yeah. Okay? What I'm saying is, let's go ahead and break down what we're doing for the Rasa. He's had a handball tournament. Great. Let's go play with the ball around the court. He gave out turkeys. Great. That's cool. Let's feed the needy. But what am I doing? I'm letting you know what the fuck is in that turkey that's killing you. Mm. I'm literally people are donating clothes. I'm donating shit. I've seen helping them. the homeless people mm-hmm. out and you, here. And you don't promote it. And I don't promote it. Mm-mm. I'm not out here. This is what I'm gonna do, or this is how much I'm gonna yeah. give. And even people that do donate, they say, "Hey, hey marvelous man, I I love what you're doing, homie. But can you not put my name out there respectfully? I, okay, homie, I won't. Don't worry about it, dog. Yeah. You know, if you want to go with me to see where your stuff is going, you're more than welcome to come with me, homie. When we go take people, and this was, was, was a while back, where we'll go take a family, a familia, out to the market. Okay? Here's $500 so their kids don't see that, that somebody's helping them out. Here's the $500 to the senora. You go get your shopping cart. Fill up whatever you want. Whatever you want. This is from our people. Here you go. Absolutely. We don't promote none of that shit. Nope. I don't even go talk about none of that shit. Nope. Yeah. You know, but this, the YouTube, it, it gets to people's head, homie. It truly does. It, it gets really to does. their head and they think that they're above everybody else and what I'm doing and I'm doing and what are you doing for the Rasa? Hey, homie, there was people way before you and me mm. that had been doing a lot more yeah. than we both are right. doing put together, homie. Yeah. You know, so look at real quick, homie, my bad. So to me, is this, this is the question. having this conversation with my with my hermanos dog and i'm keeping it real 100 percent right now that's hypnotic I told them, hey american cholo he's not even mexicano eden amorado the activist he's not even mexicano yeah. and what are they 
they doing? Kidding. They're making the most noise. They're making the most impact on behalf of us, bro. So salute to you because you're not even Mexicano, but you're still a brown man, like you said, dog. You're Honduran, whatever you are, dog. Like at the end of the day, it is your raza, bro. In my eyes, you know what I'm saying? And you're putting on the fight for us, dog. And it's you and people like Eden that are not even Mexicano because our motherfucking Mexicano fools that are high up in the platforms are scared to speak up. So not even Me they're scared to speak up. What does that mean, homie? Be, like, really think about it. They're scared to speak up. No hypnotic and no American chola. They're not scared to speak up. Rasa speaks up all the time. You just don't see it. They don't have a YouTube channel, bro. Mm. They're not out here like that. They're really fighting. Mm. They're in jail. A lot of homies are doing life. Look at look at the uh, on Netflix. If anybody wants to go see it, the the Netflix special called Long Shot. Where they try to accuse that homie of kill of a murder and he didn't even do it, homie. Yeah. You know, there's Rasa that are trying to expose the government for doing shit. Yeah. They're, what do you mean they're doing more than uh, more than anybody else? Yeah. No. no, they're not. And I'm not doing more than anybody else either in the past, homie. Mm -hmm. There's people that did way more. My grandfather. Yeah. My aunts. Yeah. You know, but different people that that I met through my grandfather. You know, people that own businesses, family-owned businesses, yeah. homie, struggling. Yeah. They're poor today. I know homeless that were doing fighting, homie, and it's sad. They're living in a tent today. Right. That are doing way more than I'm, I, I'm yeah. doing. I'm still, yeah. uh, you know, I'm yeah. 42, homie, but I'm still young, yeah. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I still have a lot to make up for that I did with my with, in my ignorant 20s, yeah. you know? So check it out real quick. It's only two more minutes, homie. Again, it's not fighting. Nobody's fighting. Nobody He's was. fighting his own ego yeah. over the word Chicano, homie. Yep. Nobody's fighting. The caller called in and asked the definition. I could bring a hundred veteranos that are that could be right here in my spot giving you the same answer I did. Yeah. But you know what? He was bugged. Like he said on the phone, when you cried to me, Gil, when you cried on the phone and said, oh man, I'm, you know what, Marvelous? The truth is, is uh, I'm just hurt because it was you. And when you speak, people listen. And you know, I, I, I'm dealing with a lot. My life is being threatened. Motherfucker. What do you mean your life is being threatened? Weren't you a gang member? Mm. I was and still am a gang member from a gang. You know, people say, I'm not fucking out here saying that I'm afraid for my life. When we went against the biggest opposition in the motherfucking 90s, I didn't go cry and say I was afraid for my fucking life. I go everywhere by myself, Tony. Everywhere. I don't same, cry and say, here. you know what? Damn, there's oppositions over there. Let me go hide. Charlie. I go everywhere and everybody fucking sees me everywhere. And I'm not trying to say I'm the downest motherfucker, but I'm a man at the motherfucking end of the day. I'm not a bitch. I'm not going to go ahead. If somebody goes to my doorbell and, and, and threatens my life or wants to talk to me, I'm not going to go put that shit on YouTube. You know, I never understood gonna, that. You know what I mean? The fool is right there ringing your doorbell at your pad where you lay your head, where your wife is at. Show your wife you could protect her mm. instead of her telling you, Shh, be quiet, babe. He's going to hear you. What kind of man is that? What kind of man is that, Tony? That's not a man, bro. We didn't do that shit. And I hate to keep bringing up the 90s, but we didn't do, we didn't conduct ourselves like that, homie. No, we didn't. Nothing like that, right? Let's, let's finish the last minute. We're what? We're Cali Mac. What the fuck is he representing the Raza with the supermarket for Mexico? Yeah, well, well, that he just made, according to him, he made that up. Yeah, so. because he wants to be the representative of something. He wants to be the founder of it. Yeah. You it know, ain't, it ain't gonna happen. And come and support me, and if you don't, you're not my friend. Bringing up the Taiga thing. People, oh, you're doing so much. You got Taiga to 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 apologize. No, he didn't get a Taiga to apologize for shit. Taiga did it for his own, um, so he wouldn't fuck with his own income. Yeah, you know, did, to yeah. to satisfy the people. That's it. And because you show up with a gang of homies, man, I, I don't need to show up to go talk to some white boy and no jumper and threaten him. 
with yeah. a gang of homies. Marvin, do you yeah. mind if I interject? Go ahead. Homie. What I didn't appreciate at that moment was that this guy never once, when they told him, oh, you know, sorry about the Mexican community. Not once did this guy ever say, oh, uh, I'm not Mexican. At least tell the people that you're fighting with that you're from Honduras. But they they mention Mexicans and you don't even tell them you're not Mexican. You should. And this goes back to the part where like, you're not Mexican, dude. When they when people refer to you as a Mexican, you should be able to tell them I'm not Mexican. I'm from Honduras. You should be proud enough to proud. actually say you're from Honduras. But yet you s sat there and just said, oh, yeah. 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 Homie, I got homies from my neighborhood. Three homies, dog. Two of them have hit me up. I sent Feria with them to help their familias in Honduras. How come you don't show that? How come you don't do that? You should be proud of where you come from, homie. Yeah. You should be proud of what, it. What, what, what do you think? And it, then real quick, Tony, my yeah, bad, yeah, homie, no, my bad. It. It. But he wants to say, yeah, they're scared of us because we got the numbers, carnal. Ain't nobody fucking scared of us, Tony. And he's referencing the black community. They're not scared of us. They're just as deep as us. They got haters just like we got yep. haters. Yep. Now you're inciting a war. Yep. You're inciting a riot. Mm. And because you're on this platform, people are going to believe your narrative, homie. Yep. Because they're calling out you for using the N-word. Now you're saying, oh, they're attacking us. No. They're attacking you for your mm, fucking exactly. reckless mouth, homie. Exactly. Your reckless mouth. Yep. You know, he needs to watch his mouth. We all do. Yeah. Yeah. All of us. Okay. So it goes on it goes on to another one so he goes on if anybody wants to check that out you can look at um roadie on radio the hypnotic interview okay it, it starts at where's that timestamp at it starts at 2 uh 25 okay he goes on to say um the real reason tony why i don't fuck with marvelous and uh, i'm sure you guys could, could vouch for this is because marvelous fucks with the informants that's a big word that's a, that's a very word. big word to yeah. use Okay, especially in my position. Yeah. yeah. Okay, where I come from, my barrio, I'm actually out here with my homies. Yeah. You know, and I talk to a lot of other barrios that are that are out here doing the, the mm -hmm. same thing, homie. Yeah. You know, so him using that word informant. Okay, let's go back. When I when I and he's referring to a podcast that I was on, right? Or, now, or you know, to go ahead. Is this, uh, in in studio or Zoom? Uh, a video. A video that I did, not in studio. Okay, so it was a Zoom interview. Yeah, it was a Zoom interview, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So at this time, I, everybody knows what I'm trying to do right here. I, I'm not trying to promote myself as a person, but whatever I've learned in life and pass it down before I I leave this this planet, whatever planet, whatever. Before I'm not here no more. I want to give you anything I could offer you, okay? And to my my babies, my kids especially. All right. So I I teach whatever I know about cultura, whatever I've learned about biology, health. Um, and whatever subjects I could touch on, I'm, I'm going to touch on it. So I even today I have, I have, I, I don't want to sound boastful homie, but hundreds of podcasters that, and begin starters, some people that have been around for a long time yeah. and hey, Marlis, would you mind, you know, how much do you charge for an interview? Can you come on my platform? I'm trying to build my numbers up yeah. or I want to teach, um, you know, the Rasa, I, I, yeah. I'm, I respect what you're doing, carnal and whatever. <clears throat> Damn. All right, cool. You know what, what, what are you trying to promote on your, on your channel? Well, I'm trying to promote unity or, you know, I, I'm dealing with personal issues right now. And I, I just want to know, you know, whatever I could learn. All right, feed man, bam, let's do it. So bam, I do it. One channel who I thought he was talking about, he wasn't even talking about, was um, some dude in Orange County that I did a, what you call it? Um, lo and behold, this guy, he, um, I don't know, he fell out in bad standings. I don't know about it. 
I didn't know nothing about it until the maybe the end of the video or even after the video till he talked about it. I didn't know nothing about it. Okay, right. fine. I finished that one. The one that he that he that that's who I thought he was talking about. The one he the one he he's really on is uh, Gunners Collective. There's a, a guy named Gunners Collective. He's from he's a northerner. Um, I guess he did time in the pen, whatever. Right. And he's not in good standings no more for whatever reason. That's his business. I don't right. I don't care what his life entails or whatever. Right. He hits me up to be on his platform. Hey, can you do this? I'm I'm trying to you know put the rasa on. I like the your your whole get down on what you're doing. Feed me, yeah, homie. I'm down to do it. Yeah, yeah okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. You know, are you cool with Northerners or whatever? Like, I I don't have no personal thing with them, you know. But as far as when we get busted, business is business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Cool, whatever. So, um, I go on his platform, did the show, whatever, and that was that. Bam. Um, another one that hit me up was, and this guy is not affiliated. With nobody he he's not a gang member he hasn't been busted for no uh uh major crimes with any major organizations prison organization or anything he's a dude named sandman a white guy right he hits me up he has some personal issues that he's dealing with health issues we talk about that discuss about that and um he wants me to be on a platform cool yeah homie you know i'll, I'll help yeah, you yeah, out and do that yeah, yeah, yeah. he this guy is associated with a dude named boxer who is an nf dropout what they what they say or whatever right yeah. that's their business that's none of my business i don't know i don't know their personal relationship so the video gets put on their platform it's called paradigm it's still up there who cares i i it's not like i'm out here in, in cahoots with these people you know what i mean and it's like, all I zoom a, interview. yeah it was a zoom interview and that doesn't even matter you know i, I won't get to a bigger point right now right yeah we did the interview, whatever, cool. I don't know nothing about the dude. Just like when I went to the full community, I didn't go ask LA Icon, where's your paperwork? I didn't go ask you, where's your paperwork? I didn't go ask, you know, and you guys didn't ask me for my shit either. And he, LA Icon didn't ask me for my paperwork either. Like nobody's asking for, for yeah. none of this shit. But in this yeah. fool's mind, like he thinks this is prison where he's never been, mm. you know, he got busted for some shit where he says that he did, which I don't fucking believe it for shit. Nobody and does. that's the paperwork I'm going to get to right now. We'll, we'll, get to it. we'll get to that right now. And he wants to call me out that I'm associating myself with informants. Who the fuck is an informant? Fool? Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Oh, no, I'm in a channel, a channel. What the fuck does a channel mean? And then mm. if these guys are whatever in your head that they are. Then you're raising your hand to handle that business? Are you doing that? You're because raising your hand you're to handle your that hand. business. Because that's what's going to happen when he gets busted. If the moment you open your fucking mouth about something, you raise your hand to go take care of that business. So, Gil, since you're the super fucking gang member that you are, handle that business, homie, mm. with these bottles. Or if you feel some type of way, handle your business, homie. You, like, come on. Like, that's fucking stupid. That's yes. wanting to fight the whole world, dog. Yeah. Yes. Like, who do you think you are? Yeah. One minute you're a family dude, the next minute you're a fucking super gang member and you can't kick it with who you kick it with because yeah. you're like this top dog. Yeah. And the next minute you're a fucking politician, which you don't know shit about politics. The mm. next minute you're you're another person yeah. that wants to speak about culture, but you're not even interested in cultura. Yep. You know, and it, it's it just blows my mind, homie. It's it blows my size mind. Size of a bipolar and individual. This, and this is the shit. Not even to talk shit and smut this dude up, but the reality of it, homie, it's like, damn fool, you need to fucking shut the fuck up yep. and take care of your fucking wife, your yep. kids if you have any, mm. your family, and mind your fucking business, mm. homie. Like, do your podcast. That's cool. Mm. You invited me on your podcast because of my knowledge, supposedly, right? Yeah. We had a good show. I showed you respect. I showed Bubble respect. Try to help him with, with his health issues that he has going on, you know? And, and I mean, come on. It's, it's sad, homie. Yeah. To see where, because of YouTube and the numbers, that you think you're this fucking statue, you know, of the community. No, you're not, fool. Bring yourself back down to reality. Yeah. Because you don't want somebody to check you, it's gonna be bad. Boo. Yeah. It's not gonna be good. Well, I mean, uh, uh, according to him, he had big. He has big players on his platform, like uh, Duno. That's, is that what uh, he said? That's fucking ridiculous, homie. That's ridiculous. You know. Well, you know, you know, you know. Here's the thing, uh, Marvin. I had I'm him sorry. here twice, okay. And um, at one point, I somewhat considered him a friend, and I I say this respectfully that when he was going through things. I would call him and comfort him. And over six times, whenever he went through a thing, I co would call him and comfort him. He would go through something, I would call him and comfort him. He would go through another thing, I would call him and comfort him. He would go through another thing. Like, and after a while, I was like, 
bro, how many times am I going to continue to do this? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my thing was like, I'm going to keep my distance with him, mm -hmm. but I, the reason why I decided to do that, because I knew he wanted me to draw the line, cut off marvelous. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, bro, I'm not going to, I'm not that kind of man, bro, where I'm going to let another man influence me to tell me that guy's no good because of a stupid screenshot that I already seen who I already talked to you about, mm. you know? I'm not going to do that, bro. Yeah. So, Gil, if you're watching, like, Take whatever so-called so nuclear, you know, evidence you have, I encourage you to drop it, bro. Like, and, and the other thing, you know, him, him trying to smut up my, my name, my character, my palabra, like, yeah. that ain't going to happen, homie. The You actually made yourself look bad. You oh, made yeah. yourself look bad by talking yes. about I'm dealing with dropouts and all this and that, and I'm doing interviews. This piece of shit fucking was dealing with Savage Studios. Savage and he, Studios. And, and you could say, oh, well, Gil didn't know either, and I'll give him that. Okay, Gil, yeah. you might have not known either. I'm not out here smutting your name, but the thing with Gil is that even after he found out that he was a two fiber and he dissed the fucking the the homies, yeah, you know, he still was willing to collab with him and do videos, and it was behind the scenes. Just wow. because he's not on a platform and he's dealing with people behind the scenes, does that make him still good, or are we selective politicking here? <laughs> We're se like, what definitely are we doing? selective, right? What are we there. doing that here? Is definitely selective. Selective. Are we picking and choosing? Yeah. Because when it comes to politics, I mean, homies know if it is what it is, you're going to get dealt with, homie. Yeah, you know, and, and let me say this, just to throw, throw this in there, okay? I said this the other, the other night, Norbert, I think you were here when yeah. I said, if you look at every podcast that has come against me, yeah. who has been behind it? Miss Pac-Man, mm. okay? If you look at all the so-called fake paperwork yeah. behind Savage Studio stuff, uh, who he had against me, isn't it funny that she reached out to him. He admitted it in one of his videos. I talked to the victim herself. Homie, yeah. I'm getting messages right now yeah. from a fake ass number. Yeah. Pictures harassing. Like yeah. that's stupid. Your business is none of my business. Exactly. Yeah. It's none of my business, homie. Yeah. And my business is none of you guys' business yeah. with all respect. Yeah, no. It's, it's mine. And I don't facts. call you for help or backup. And you guys don't do the same thing, homie. Yeah. Nope. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's ridiculous, dog. But he does. He, he shows up with 100 fools to, to go on his favorite show. Yeah. So. It's sad. And you know what, what? what's even the worst thing, homie, is that finally, you know, we get a chance to represent ourselves and, and mm. show ourselves yeah. as, as a whole people, as a raza. Yeah. And now look at what's happening. You got, you're going to have all these other ethnicities watching all this cheese mess saying, damn, that's what the fuck they're doing? You know yeah. what? And because of what? Yeah. A fucking definition of Chicano? You know, you know what? Like, I, I want to officially declare Gil American Cholo King Crab. King Crab. What do you mean King by that? King Crab. Because he is the one guy that is pulling literally everybody that's being trying to uplift our community. Yeah. Because there are fools in this community that want to just keep us down, want to drama wants problems wants to poison our community that's what when they're is. trying to say that they're trying to uplift us but in fact they're actually just dividing us creating yeah, problems that's what, that's what that shouldn't that's, that's exist for their own benefits yeah you know the thing is that um I, i'm gonna share a story marvelous okay mm -hmm. um yesterday i was with my two grandbabies okay at the park there was a little girl and i said i call her little Little because I'm older. I'm, a, I'm in my 50s. She was probably either 8th grade or ninth grade. She was with another uh, boy. He was probably 10th grade. He looked up at, maybe he was in 10th grade. Mm. I don't know if they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah. I don't know if they were cousins. I don't know if they were brother and yeah. sister. Yeah. But this girl was so, like, geeked out. And I mean that respectfully. Like, yeah. they, she kept looking at her phone, and she kept turning around looking at me. She kept talking, she goes, oh my God, that's him. Oh, and I, would, I could hear them. Yeah. Oh my God, that's him. Oh my God, that's him. So she comes up to me and she says, are you Tony A? And I said, yes, how you doing? So I got up and I shook her hand. Oh my God, what are you doing here? And I said, well, I live here and those are my grandbabies right there. Okay, they were playing soccer. Yeah. Okay. Oh my God, I saw you at the restaurant and you were, and I said, yeah, that, I was on Hood Vlog. So they watched the Hood oh, Vlogs. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I explained to him that there was a guy named, uh, I forgot, I forgot his name at the moment. But uh, I, think, believe, I, I believe his name was Anton. He came from Russia and he wanted to interview me here on in my neighborhood. Yeah. So I walked him through my elementary, junior high school, uh, and high school. And I walked him through my boy's restaurant, Los Tres Cochinitos. Let me give him a plug. 
And I said, yeah. And I said, back in the day, this stood for, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, and then Marvelous, to your surprise, I'm going to say this. This youngster, again, he was probably in 10th grade. Mm. He goes, I watch your shows all the time. Mm. He goes, I didn't know you still live here in Wilmington. I said, yeah, I stay right here on L Street. You live on L Street? Because L Street is infamous for activity. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, it, I, I go, so what episodes do you like? You know, and he said this. That guy, he goes like this. The guy from East L.A., he was referring to your tattoos. Oh, wow. And I go, Marvelous? He goes, yeah. And she goes, I like those two, but I like, the girl goes, I like those two, but I like all of them. Dope. And I said, okay, cool. She goes, I love the positive message that you guys push. Beautiful. That's what I want to say. These are underage teenagers. Yeah. Okay. They watch this platform. That's why I'm careful what I say. Yeah. Okay. Because this is the next generation that we're educating. Yeah. That we're building up, that we're blessing with wisdom and knowledge. One day, Marvelous, we are going to be held accountable to what we say here on these cameras. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to call out all these podcasters, all you guys that are spreading fucking hate. Yeah. All you guys that are spreading hate and you guys are, are you guys are men. You are feeding the next generation nothing but pure fucking hate. Mm -hmm. Nothing but pure fucking hate. And ignorance. Ignorance. You have no motherfucking talent. You have no business being online talking shit about other people. Mm. Okay? Yeah. And these youngsters told me that they looked up to me, that they looked up to us. Yeah. Because you guys bless us. Okay? Yeah. And all you guys do is talk shit about fucking people. Yeah. That's all they do. When we started this fucking platform, we gave Rasa a platform to, to shine light on them, yeah. on their gifts, their talent, their music. Yeah. yeah. And all, you guys, all you guys want to do is just talk a shit about everybody. You know, it's funny. I'm glad you said that, Tony, because uh, one thing that American Chola said is that uh, I don't, in my platform, I don't need nobodies to come here. And that's literally the opposite of the opposite what Rodeo of Radio, Radio is. Because yeah. this, you are the one that puts nobodies in here so that all these other platforms could have guests yeah. and make content. You know, I, I'm going to say something, okay? And I, and I'm not speaking to the younger generation, but I need the younger generation to understand who not to listen to. Mm. Okay. If you want to come to this platform and get blessed by Norbert, you want to get blessed by Marvelous, you want to get blessed by me, much love, much respect. Okay. That day I met two fans and they were all teenagers mm -hmm. here, you know, in my, in my city. If you guys want to know how, and I'm going to say his name, American Cholo got his, uh, uh, I guess his numbers. Uh. Number one. Out of respect, because he was just here, he started talking shit about a friend, a guy that I consider a friend, mm. who was the biggest promoter nationwide, mm. and he referred to him as a snitch. And he said, wow. yeah, you know, he go, yeah, he's a snitch. And I'm going to say this, Raider Tommy. Raider Tommy, if you're watching, you work for this man who I'm talking about. The biggest promoter nationwide, and you, per and you support a guy that has talked shit about him and has called him a fucking snitch. So you ought to be a fucking shame to yourself. Greater Tommy. Okay? So I'm calling you out because you used to follow me. You used to promote this a podcast. And I love... I'm going to say... Let me leave it there. So now... So now... The next guy that he talked shit about was SPM. I don't support SPM. SPM have already been locked up over 20 years. All of a sudden... I got his paperwork, everybody. Mm -hmm. That's how he got his numbers, mm -hmm. by smutting people up. Next, Chingo Bling. Let me smut it. He's a Trump supporter. Let me smut up his name. <laughs> Next. <laughs> did did that, he have a comedian that is a super fucking yeah. Trump supporter? Next. <laughs> fucking retarded, only. Next, Tariq Nasheed. That's just fucking okay? dumb. He's a racist, okay? Let me, he's got a white wife, okay? He started up his controversy. Next, okay? After that, he started with no jumper. No jumper's a fucking rate. He's a, 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 a porn guy. He's this, he's that, he's this. Marv, I can keep going down the line. Yeah. His, his, his uh, if you will, his patterns are always in cycles. Uh. He stops, he's cool, then he starts again. Uh. He stops, he's cool, then he starts again. He's got to keep talking shit. Then Tiger. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Bro, I didn't need you to stand up to Tiger for me. Yep. You didn't need to stand up for Marvelous. You know, you know, because of that song, 
Okay. Then after that, he's whack 100. Whack 100. At his door. Shows up at his door. At his and door. you know what he does? He posts up his picture. Why would you post up his picture, bro? Go handle that shit like a fucking Answer man. Answer the fucking door, homie. Answer the... You don't even need to even post that. Oh, I wasn't there. No, fool. Your wife is telling you to shut the fuck up or he's going to hear you. Your work truck is outside. Yeah. So, Who the fuck are you hiding from, fool? So I, I need people to understand his patterns. So, and then I called him to encourage him. Don't answer and leave him alone or whatever. No, Wack was going to get smoked. I, I was going to, I, I <laughs> yeah, went looking for him. Right. Okay. You know, so, and then after that, after that, he waved the white flag. He didn't want no beef with Wack 100. He started throwing jabs at me. And I'm like, bro, I just had dinner with you. I have pictures with you. I have videos with you. Eating dinner with Gold Toes and Papa Snoop, Snoop Dogg's dad. And now you want to talk shit about me? Yeah. <laughs> and I've had your back the whole time? Yep. Gil, I've ate dinner at your house, bro. I ate your wife's cooking. By the way, much love and respect for it. The food was good, bro. I feel bad for that marriage, man. Bro, and I'm like, you're coming after me over some bullshit? Like, okay, cool. No problem. And I want to say this to Larry West Coast Graffiti. Okay? I go, eventually, he's going to make you draw the line. Yep. Eventually. No, no, Tony, I'm my own man. He told me the same thing. Tony, I'm my own. Nobody's going to make me do that. Let me tell you something. I had Larry here. And I say this respectfully, bro, because I'm not going to talk shit about you. Even though I may look goofy with this fucking green hat, but cool, whatever. Hey. Um, here's my thing. We sat across, and he said this. I can't be like this with Gil. It's more, much more serious. With you, I can lay my hair down. We're good. Okay, cool. He's going to make you draw the line. No, Tony, I'm my own man. Wait, Tony. Then- hold on, hold on. After the night when he was with Gil, I text him good morning. He didn't respond. I called him twice. He didn't respond. I text him again. He didn't respond. So I got the message, bro. We're good, bro. I'm not going to smut your name, but the thing is, it's it's clear you made your choice, but it's hard for me to respect that. And I'm not going to do that. So one thing is this. When you look at Gil, I laid it all out for you guys. He just started shit. He's peaceful. Start shit, peaceful. Mm. That's how he gets his views mm. starting shit. Yeah. So right now he's 69 in with Blue Dildo. Yeah. And you know who's behind it all? Not only Miss Pac-Man, but Royal Tetas. Is that the guy from San Diego? Royal Tetas is funding all these guys. The guy that pays for memberships? That's the guy. Pays for memberships and views. So Royal Tetas, also? I know you're watching, and I know your Chicloso just puckered up <laughs> because I found you out. Miss Pac-Man, I found you out, okay? Every single podcast that has come against me, she's been behind, and so has him. The floor is yours, Marvelous. Huh. Uh, wait, wait. So, you, let me put this one part in, just to clarify. Yeah. Tony, the thing you just said about uh, uh, American Chola yeah. telling Larry to like choose a side, is that technically an ultimatum? That's an ultimatum. That's an ultimatum. He tried right? to say, I didn't give an ultimatum. No, you did, bro. That's a fucking you ultimatum. Did. You did. You know, and, and I'm going to say this. Look, <laughs> I didn't say, fuck this guy, fuck that Look, bro, if I have anything to say to Gil, I'll say to you when like I see you. Dick? That's what real men do. Oh. Okay? Yeah. Uh, to live and die in L.A., I'm going to be there podcasting. You were there last year, and you keep waving at me for me to interview you. I brought you in. I gave you what you wanted. So, I'm going to be there this year. Hey. So, I'm going to say this. As a man, don't go to YouTube. Don't go to Instagram. If you want to meet me there... Go there by yourself, and I will go by myself, and we'll go around the corner, bro. Because that's Frankie. the way we do it, bro. Shout out to Frankie. And after that, go ahead, Marvels. Another thing, this fool wants to wants to sit there and cry that all I want is an apology, carnal. All I want is an apology. An apology for what, you fucking bitch? For what? Mm. An apology for what? Mm. That I read some paperwork? That I made a statement, I don't know if it's real or not, mm. but I'm only reading it. I said it, and even yeah. in the first video that got reported, yeah. he probably reported it. It yeah. got reported and taken down. I had yeah. to make another one all quick yeah. and post it real quick before I left. Yeah, I put it up. I don't know if this is real or not. You know, uh, and I went ahead and read it. So what? And I called him out to read his real paperwork that he did everything that he said he's doing, and he's this big old fucking gang member. He fucking what said that he uh, allegedly. Blasted at the Huras. He fucking blasted at the Enemigas. And yeah. he did two years in YA. 
For all you homies that have been busted, NAYA, you, you know you don't get that fucking time for that. Mm. You don't. Mm. You're not going to get, they're not going to give you a drug program in two years, homie, for all that. Turn the mic to your mouth, bro. So you know, that way they can you, hear you. You're not going to get all that, you know? And will he read his real paperwork? Not to prove that he isn't a chomo, but to prove that he did all that shit. That's what I read that for. So yeah. an apology for, for that? And you're in fear for your fucking life, you big old pol politician, gang member that you are? Mm, super uh, uh, Who does all that shit? Yeah. Okay, okay, let me say one thing. Okay, um, Gail, you said you had nuclear shit on me. Go ahead and post it. If you had nuclear shit on him, go ahead and post it. I don't give a fuck, okay? Here's my thing. I called you when that fake paperwork that you say marvelous read, okay? At the very end of that video, when you went live and mm -hmm. you read that paperwork, mm -hmm. do you remember what you said? I don't, if not more, no, go when ahead. I saw it, he said, Gil, if you don't want people to put out this fake paperwork about you, show your real paperwork. Exactly. That's all That's you got to do. That's okay. all you got to do. So, so I'm going to tell you guys right now what Gil said to me over the fucking phone. Okay. And if you guys don't believe me, then we could open up the fucking phone lines and have Gil call. Hey. Even, the, even after that, homie, after he, he fucking smutted up my name on his smear campaign, talking about whatever, he, he called me the next day crying about his fear for his life and all this fucking, uh, before, all this weak yeah. shit. Before he gets to his clip, let me just say this. I'll, you're going to hear a lot of these fucking podcasters that are sucking these guys' dicks, ignoring that one important fact about what, uh, what Marvelous said. They're not even mentioning that part. They're just going with like, he just did it and that's it. Exactly. Never once mentioned, even Gil, never once mentioning that. And I gave him the benefit of that, that maybe somebody given an edited version, but I saw the whole motherfucking thing. And he, and Marvelous said, Gil, if you don't want anybody to put out fake paperwork like this, show your real paperwork. Now, this is the thing. Liars, their story changes consistently. Yeah. It changes. Back. My story of this, because I saw it with my own eyes and I heard it, I can say it and never changes. It's always the same. But if you hear these guys, every fucking version is different. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So when so the next day he calls me behind the scenes, not on air, and tells me how he's sorry, he's fucking crying about he's in fear for his life, and yeah, I got nothing but love, but you hurt my feelings when you took when you said I wasn't a Chicano, and because when you talk, people listen. You know how can I make it right? Let me know what I could do to make it right. Here's the messages. American Chola, right there. Oh, I put the apology in, in the comment, he said. When we had the car, we're like, what the fuck? But I will do whatever you like to make it right, carnal. I will do whatever. <laughs> I will do whatever. And what did I tell you? Come and talk to me in person. Come and talk to me in person. I'll accept your apology, fool. But come and talk to me in person like a fucking real man. You know okay. what's, you okay. know what's no. funny? Hold, hold on, hold on. I'll do whatever you like. Hold on. I, I don't know what fucking the fuck. Weenie. I, I don't know what I... I would yeah. do what you like, but I just want to say this, you know, Gil, oh, I called man. you when all this so-called, and I'm going to say so-called paper was going out. And I said this, um, there's a, there's a, allegedly rumors going around that you touched a 13 year old girl. That's okay? the rumor. Um, that was the paperwork, right? Marvelous. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. So-called 13 year old girl. Okay. You never bothered to clear that up. So when I talked to him and I said, no, uh, I said, um, you know, Gil, just destroy this by showing your real paperwork. Destroy it. And he said, I don't need to show shit. They can all suck my dick. And I said, Gil, you can make this all go away just by showing your real paperwork. He's talking I, about other people's paperwork. Yeah. I don't need fuck? to show shit. So my thing is this. Marvelous, I was accused of rape, bro. Uh huh. When I won my fucking case over, and I'm gonna say it again, Sandro Avila, Miss Fucking Pac Man, Sandy Pants on Instagram, I went on his podcast, okay? And he read my fucking paperwork. He read it. And, in, and until this day, you can get the website, you can get the case number, you can get whatever, okay? And you know what he told me? I don't need to show shit. Fuck them. Bro, you bro, you read mine. If I showed mine, why can't you show yours? He read SBMs. 
He read his PM. He could read everybody's paperwork but his. Well, slam the gavel. Bro, let me tell you something. You're being accused of a 13-year-old girl. Okay? The I'm not saying that's true. The first true. thing I would do is run my ass home and be like, where the fuck is my, that paperwork at? Let me, I need to show somebody. But you know what he did, Marvelous? He went live for an hour and a half and cussed everybody out and all these weak motherfuckers. Yeah, Gil. Yeah, Gil. He's the real yeah, one. Gil. He's the Hater real one. He's right the real there. one. He's opening him up. He's, yeah. <laughs> like, come on. Like, come on, homie. Hater wears all the chewing on his foreskin. Like, come on, so. fool. And now they got Who's that other little, little kid. Like, Who's it's Scanners, homie. Like, it, Chola or Ortiz? Just, you know what? The message is there. The people have heard everything. We should really, like, honestly, Tony, leave it as it is. It, it, it's a dead it. issue, homie. Like, real shit. The, but, the, 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 the message is, though, yeah. like, real shit. All you homies watching, be about your word. Your yeah. palabra. Yeah. That, that's everything. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking everything, homie. Yeah. Don't ever hide in your fucking pad. Don't go on the internet and fucking diss somebody. Don't ever say what you're going to do. Just fucking do it and shut the fuck up. Okay, I'm going to say one last thing and then I'm going to leave it to you guys to give shout outs. Okay, because we're done. Oh, we're going to take okay. off? Oh, nah. No, I'm not going to take off. All right. Okay, here's my thing. Oh, shit. Gil or uh, Blue Dildo, I'm going to say this, okay? If you have anything to say to me, to Marvelous, or to Norbert, don't go live. Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit us up on the DM and we'll meet alone. Yeah. Like men. You don't need to go live, bro. Blue Devil, stop trying to set up your podcast in your grandma's living room. And your the, little gun shop. Yeah, like, stop, stop yeah, doing that, bro. Doing, stop doing that, bro. Gangsters don't wear skinny jeans, homie. Okay? It, and, uh, you know, American Chicloso, if you, if you have anything to say to me, I'm going to be at To Live and Die in LA podcasting. Go up there, bro. Or at least DM me. We can meet up anywhere by myself. I don't need to take 50 homies that are not from my neighborhood. Mm. Okay, mm. okay. I don't need to take fifty homies that are not from my neighborhood because that's exactly what you did. You took a bunch of rental homies, okay, <laughs> rent to own. So other than that, if you have anything to say, anybody that's watching us and that supports those guys, next time they go live and they address us, tell them: Are you going to meet them face to face? If not, unsubscribe. Marvelous. And, and for any of your homies, like, serio, like, if you ever hear a homie talk about another homie or whatever, if that's really bugging that fool, tell him, hey, why don't you go tell them? Why are you telling me? Exactly. Yeah. You hey, know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. Fuck those views. And I'm glad you said uh, you got to be a man of the word. Like, for instance, today, I told the, I told the, I think they're a dispensary, Cali Herbs. I told them I would show up to their event. I showed up super late. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but I still showed up because I am a man of my word. I, when yeah. I say I'm going to show, I'm going to show. Up. It's going. It might be late, but I will still show up. Yeah, all right, all good. Uh, hey, um, shout out to my shout out. Oh, go ahead, Owen. Go, go. Hey, my bad. Um, like I think this is an important question. Go ahead, somebody go ahead. posted, and um, it's because they're saying that they want to know. Uh, they, it's for you. All right. Um, they said people are saying that Norby's can't speak on what he talks about on his podcast. What is your opinion about that? Oh. That what? I don't know what oh, that I, means. I, I, there, said, a lot, of people, that a lot of people are in their feelings because I, I said, I repeated what you said about America Cholo because people are trying to manipulate it, change the narrative. When I told Gil that you uh. said on that, on, that, on that live that you did with the paperwork, uh. you pointed out that, hey, show your real paperwork. Yeah. But people are are trying to change it and trying to say that I'm the one that is telling Gil. You didn't say you didn't even know shit about it. You yeah, weren't even yeah. there on my pad when I recorded yeah. that. And that, exactly. he's not, and that he's not allowed to. Speak that I'm on not that. allowed. But I am. You could speak on whatever he wants. He's a yeah. grown man. Huh? That, he's a grown that, man. So, he's a grown man. Okay, facts. Okay, I want to say this for uh, for fucking blue dildo right here. Uh, you wearing the fucking skinny jeans, okay? Krampus looking bastard. I'm gonna tell you something, okay? If you're gonna be friends with that guy, tell that guy to show his fucking paperwork to you. Because you claim you're from the blue team, tell him to show his fucking real paperwork. If not, go fuck yourself. He's not from blue okay? team. He's from a San Diego team. As far yeah, as exactly, bro. Calexico. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he, shout out to everybody yeah. that's watching that 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 is in the comment section, and um, a shout out to all you real motherfuckers that are with that. You know what I mean? Like for Put real. Mic, yeah, because I don't want shout to out say. to shout out to all you guys. You know, watching. Shout out to the homie Snoop from that loyal gang. 
Uh, appreciate you, homie. Keep that shit marvelous. Appreciate you, dog, and all the homies that reached out to me today. Um, sh- even the the uh, a lot of I mean I'm not even gonna say it. A lot of homies that reached out to me. You know yeah. what's up, dog. It's all good, appreciate bro. you and your respect, you know, homie. You know what? A lot of you guys uh, that watch those platforms, whenever they bring us up, tell them to meet us, bro. I did that to Night Owl, rest in peace, and I did that to Royal fucking Tetas, who's behind all this shit. Royal fucking Tetas is my height. That fat motherfucker will never fucking meet me, okay? So, once again, if you're going to talk shit, oh, look, man. bro, I wear this fucking goofy hat. I wear this. I wear a fucking tank top. I'm still swinging with you. I don't give a fuck. I look like a fucking tall-ass Mexican leprechaun, okay? <clears throat> and we can do that, but here's my thing, bro. I'm not going to prove myself to be super tough. Just don't... Don't talk shit, bro, if you're not willing to meet us, because this is not a cyber war. Okay, this is not a cyber war. So, anyways, Norbert, go ahead. Hey, you know, I'm just glad I could go outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, you know what? I want to give a lot of love to everybody that's been supporting the live chat, been supporting Rodent Radio, Tony Vision, News with Norbies, and now uh, also Marvelous Minds. Yeah. And uh, definitely for me personally and the Hip Hop Jedi, uh, run the fade podcast. Me when me and him did promote this, that shit. When when me and Hip Hop Jedi thought of this, we didn't talk to Tony about it. We didn't talk to Marvelous about it. Me and the Hip Hop Jedi said, you know what? We're fucking tired of these fucking cocksuckers that are consistently lying about things that are happening just so they can get likes, just so they could get subscribers. So me and the Hip Hop Jedi said, you know what? Fuck it. Let let let's be. Let's be the ones that can talk shit back. Because yeah. as far as for me personally, I want Rodian Radio Tony Vision to always shine light on people, on nobodies. Because apparently some podcasters out here, like American Chola, doesn't want nobodies on his show. Yeah. Or take calls. Or so take to calls. Let hear your, your boy. Why, why are you scared of to let your audience exactly. hear? Exactly. Exactly. Hear that. And that would be really like bringing unity and getting to the bottom of the issue. Facts. Why would you do that? Facts. Yeah, I know. I know. And, and shows like, and channels like Marvelous Minds that brings knowledge about cultura, about community, about health. I mean, that's what it, that's what that channel is about. Yeah. So. Run, run, run the fade is not, is neither none of those. Yeah. Run the Fade is not a positive channel. Run the Fade is a channel that's always going to fucking call you out on your shit. Yeah. And I know you guys don't like me. And I, and that actually makes me happy that you don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Because at the end of the day, you guys want to spin a narrative. All you fools in the community want to fucking spin a stupid narrative that you guys are trying to push something positive. And even though you might want to say, no, I'm not trying to push nothing positive. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Fuck, I'm not trying to do that. Motherfucker, all you do is use the community to make your fucking money. Yeah. You're not fucking fooling nobody. Okay. You're, you're fake and you're okay. a bitch. All of you guys are bitches. Alex, but as far as that, hey, RIP to Looked drunk. Out. Yeah. Alex, go ahead and put out. the camera on me, bro, real fast. Okay. Let me know when it's on. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I did this once before Marvelous, and I'll do it again, okay? Oh, don't start stripping, Tony. No, no, no. Hey, you're going to get Blue Dildo hard on. He's going to make thumbnails of that. Oh, my God. Like he did with Criminal in his fucking no no shirt shirt fucking thumbnails. There's going to be a stupid-ass reaction video. (laughs) I already know. Oh, you know what? Let me clap. Let Let, me go try to make my point. That's just ridiculous. Here's what I'm going to do. It's a dead issue already. No, it's okay. I wanted to do this in front of you guys, so I did this once before. Uh, it's the blue dildo. Yes. And uh, uh, a fucking American Chicloso. Yeah. If you guys are going to talk about me again, then be prepared to come here and go heads up with me. Ooh. Okay. That's the way I have it. I will that's move good. this motherfucking table and go heads up with you fucking levels for talking all that motherfucking shit. You really want to take it to the fucking neighborhood? Come to my motherfucking neighborhood, bro. And we'll fucking go heads up. I'll go heads up with both of you at the same fucking time wearing this fucking hat. Okay? Straight up, bro. Okay? So I'm just throwing it out there. It's a friendly invitation. The moment my boy says, one, two, three, go start swinging. I guarantee you Blue Dills is going to go next. And I'm going to guillotine the 
fuck out of fucking Chipmunk Chomo. I, I guarantee fucking tell you, bro. Other than that, let me go and give a shout out to Alex Cervantes, Cervantes Enterprise, my son, Beast Callens, for helping me promote this, the Hip Hop Jedi, uh, News of Norby's, my brother, Marvelous Inc., and um, Magic Girl. And uh, other than that, uh, if I miss anybody, then I'm sorry. But uh, much love, much respect, and I'll be 56 soon. So you're not gonna hey. be afraid of a 56 year old man, are you? Other than that, we out of here. Have a blessed night. We're out. This is Los Angeles. Breaking, breaking, breaking news. Gang, gang capital of the nation. Brother, ooh. Brother, ooh. Capital of the nation.